I tell you, folks, for y'all, I assume y'all watch every week if you're not at the game. But remember last year, it's kind of a revenge game for Pike Road. We went up there last year to Stanhope, and they played a good game. We had some mistakes, but I'm not putting the blame on anyone. They ended up winning the game. Hats off to them. So tonight, hopefully we can return the favor. And I tell you, Chris, tonight we got a pink out. And uh, we're celebrating, not celebrating, my bad. We're, well, I'll tell you what we're celebrating. Hopefully a cure to kill that dreadful disease known as breast cancer, man. I know this month, NFL, all the way to youth football, uh, last Saturday out here in Pike Road, the kids had on pink. Kids here on both sides of the field got pink. The cheerleaders have got their pink pom-poms. And so we are recognizing the dreadful disease known as breast cancer, and we're trying to raise awareness uh, to try to get rid of it. And so tonight's a pink out. So if you at the house, do me a favor, Bridlebrook. Do me a favor, Bonterre, Bolotaire. I don't know exactly what it's called. Sam Marcus, Soul. I don't care where you. John Hall store. Go in your closet. Well, not if you're at the John Hall store. But if you're at home, go in your closet. Put your pink on, right, man right, or woman, calls, child. It don't third, matter. Put pink half. on, and in your own way, it's your house, apartment, whatever, beach house, mountain house, whatever, uh, RV. Uh, houseboat, put your pink on and celebrate with us the opportunity to bring awareness to that because y'all know the rules of the road. It's not golf, it's not tennis, and it's not cricket. Well, I've never been to a cricket match. That doesn't seem like a very sport with a lot of fun zone to me. But <laughs> this is football, baby, and they hit you hard. It's physical, and we're going to have a big time. Remember, you can yell, you can no cussing, but have a big time, and if your neighbors ain't watching them, you let them know they missing it, baby. Turn the bachelor off. Quit gossiping, put your phone down, unless you're watching this on your phone, and get ready for Friday night football in Pike Row, baby. Here we go. Welcome to Friday nights in Pike Row. Here come your Patriots. Great. Pretty Thank close. Great. Great. Oh, y'all, hey, I'm going to shut up. Listen to this, baby. Yeah, we are getting better. I think uh, last game we only gave up one kind of big play on a on a kickoff. So that's what you want. You, like, whenever we say that, we say, "Hey, we got to get better at this." It's not being negative. It's you know, like being on the staff a few years ago and as going into a state championship season and winning the state championship. You look at each week and you want to be getting better and better and better, especially once you hit the playoffs. So you're really rolling once you hit it. There you go, Ackerman with another good kickoff. Number 18, Darian Smoke recovers the kickoff tackle of the play by number 32, Alex McLeod. Alex McLeod, yes, sir. Good gosh. Mustang returns the kickoff. I said, hey, he said, coach, put me on the kickoff team. Hey, I want to make a play on kickoff? Let's get with Alex McLeod out Let's here. Let's go. First and 10 for Stanhope, going from our left or our right. Your Patriots, gray on gray. Looking good out there with their red socks and pink stuff and gray helmets. Here we go, first and 10. Quarterback kept it. What was that, Chris? Very RPO? nice, very nice. That was a read option, so he stuck it in there for the running back. Malik got upfield, and when he saw Malik get upfield, he kept it. Uh, he really had nowhere to go in the middle of there. Gavin, like, 
McKean. There's four, five, Sid, Mac. All, there was a bunch of guys in there stopping them right at the line of scrimmage. Second which down, is good because what they do is run the ball. You know, that's, that's, their, that's their bread that's, and butter. That's their sweet spot in offense. Trips right here, Chris. Early movement. There is a flag in the play. Oh. They very. Tell you what, Malik was back there pretty quick, too. Uh, we gave him five there. After the five yard penalty, second and five for the Mustangs. They're about to lose five right there almost. Yeah, I know. Second down and five at the 30 yard line. Again, blessed and honored. Thankful y'all are watching us. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight, hopefully. But with Myers calling it, hopefully you'll learn a lot about the game. And uh, hopefully we get us five in a row. But no, check it, six in a row. My bad. Yeah, we need that six in a yeah, row. Yeah, 0-2 start out. Let's look, forget about those. We've been on a little bit of a streak. But here we go, second down and five. Jet sweep toss, maybe. Ooh, good tackle yeah. there. Like right, Malik got up, made him cut up. Cut up, not get to the outside, brought him back to everyone else. I tell you, Chris, when you have like an SEC, uh, y'all don't know, number one's uh, headed to Auburn next year. Mom and Water, would y'all do that? Even though when he's not making plays, Chris, is he disrupting the play calling? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. That's what you want to have a Division one athlete, especially on the D-line. You want him in their backfield, beating his one-on-one -on -one blocks, where you have to double-team him. And still, even that, a lot of times in high school, they're going to beat that block and just, like you say, cause chaos in the backfield, not let you do what you want to do uh, on every play. I would assume it's in the back a lot of linemen. Like, I got to get that. Yeah, I'll be I got I to gotta do that dude all night. Third down and five here, first big play of the game. Shift it to the field. They're going to try to throw it. Yeah, right. pass incomplete, baby. That'll be fourth down. They'll be punting. Just like uh, the that Malik, the and a, Malik and Akeem got some pressure, it looked like. Yeah, but yeah, and he tried to go to the running back out there in the flat, which if he caught it, he might have had a chance. But he too much pressure, and he threw it in the dirt over there. Hey, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, I know I talk about our sponsors a lot. You know why I do? Because they laid their money down or going to lay their money down. And so I talk about our sponsors. I'll get to them in a minute. We really, really, really appreciate them. Thank them very, very much um, for sponsoring these kids. And I'll get to them in a little bit. But right now we got fourth down and four, maybe. And we got Jordan Holmes in the about the 30 yard line. So take a bounce. Yeah, let that go. Get away from it. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got for touchdowns tonight and every week, we got DR Horton. If you're looking to buy a house, you give them a call. Tell them Pike Road Live sent you. First downs, my good friends, lawyers. Hawthorne, Atchison, and Riddle. Prattville, Selma, Montgomery, they got you covered. Uh, again, good dudes and good lawyers. Sacks, all sacks, nukes. Right there at Taylor and Vaughn. I talk about it every week. I love that turkey sandwich. My boy Myers, a little more healthy. He's rocking that salad and that soup. <laughs> got to be healthy. I just got back from New Orleans all week. Yeah, but you, woo, that's some good food down there. Down, Shut down, your down mouth. There. <laughs> woo! I think I like some of that Cajun. Here we go, baby. First down and 10 at the 37-yard line. Going from our right to our left. First quarter, 10 minutes left. Beautiful Pike Road, Alabama. Got a lot of grass with Caleb out here, too. We got Myers in the backfield. Myers with the sack. I tell you, it was a good job with those cornerbacks. There wasn't much work in there, Chris. Yeah, they, they had some coverage on them. Again, we got Myers. Might have had a chance a little earlier, but didn't get out of there. Hussey, number seven, Big Mike, 21 in the backfield. Let's come bring up second, let's call it 14. Go, 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 go. Michael on the outside, 40. He's to the 50. He's to the 40s. Nice, Mike. Number 21, Michael Jones, with a big run around the left side. Good enough for a high road, Tell you what, Chris, that was just good blocking on the left end there. Oh, great and blocking. And Mike just took over and, and, and got given talent and, uh, and hard a, work and made that's first That's a play we like to run a lot, to have the, rock, the wide receiver block down and pull both guards. And uh, yeah. Dez and Terry on get out there and do a great job leading the way. There we go. There boom. he goes again. Boom. That's about five boom. more yards. You're going to pay for that one when yeah. he's coming downhill. You can hear that, that up here. That was very nice. That was Patrick on, yeah. the, on the carry. Exactly right. He does a really good job of putting his foot in the ground and getting north and south fast. Second and five for the Mustang 38. We got Myers and uh, 
Mike in the backfield. And try a bubble out there. Go, 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 go. Oh, that play guy that played kid. that really well. Be third down and four, folks. I got closed on that and played yeah, that really did. well. I tell you, if he doesn't get him, he had a lot of green, Chris. Yes. First big play of the game for your Patriots, baby. Let's go. By going back to that run off the left that Mike had earlier. There we go. Boom, first down, Chris. He's that. got more. Down, He's 20, go. 10, 8, catching him today. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Touchdown. Touchdown. Woo, yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. 40 yard scamper. Big 21. Woo, I tell you, good blocking up front, though, Chris. Got him that hole on third and six. And how's that go? Straight zone, everybody. Take the same steps, get upfield, move your man out of the way, and man, the line did a great job up front. I tell you, it's a DR Horton touchdown right there. That's also an Atchison Riddle Hawthorne uh, first down and more. Great job by Mike breaking that tackle in the, uh, at the second level, too. Thanks, sure enough, was. Man, when he gets going, he's tough. I tell you, on a 36 2, Chris, that was a big play. First big play of the day. Big Eicherman back here. Grandson of the Corbett's in the. Ooh, the last snap. Did he get. Yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. I tell you, his streak continues. Shout out to his grandparents down in beautiful Fairhope, Alabama, my hometown. Uh, the Corbett's awesome folks. Their grandson doing an awesome job for the Pike Road Patriots. We miss y'all. But if you're going to move somewhere, Fairhope ain't a bad place to move there, I tell you that. All right, Myers, 7 0. I right, like I it. it. That's what we've done the last start. three weeks. Got the good start, got an early start, and hopefully we can continue that. That's exactly right. Had good kickoff coverage. Alex McLeod went down there and smoked that cat early. Did. Then the defense came out and did what they wanted, what they needed to do, get them three, three downs and out against the run, which is what they like to do. And then for us, I mean, again, you kind of take what they give you, you know, as a team. And right now, looks like we're going to be able to run the ball tonight. Yeah, he has some good holes, man. Man, great holes. And that sets up the passing game. It that does. Play action, play action, bam. It does. Either. Yeah, the but ball I didn't go out of bounds. Beforehand. I'll let the experts call it. I'll shut up. He picked it up, Chris. Thank you. I'm not sure what no, that he was. Yeah, because the ball never went out of bounds. He scooped it up. Yeah, he picked it up. That's what I thought. He must have stepped out of bounds. Maybe he was trying to drop his bag instead of his flag. Dropped the bag. He just yeah, grabbed it on. That's what I thought. All right, baby. Good kickoff. Yeah. Coverage there, first and 10 at the 10-yard uh, line. We got him backed up. That's tough. That's putting those guys in a, in a conflict yeah. there when it hits the ground or real because they can try to let it roll out, but then if it doesn't, you're in big trouble. Yeah. So you got to kind of got to scoop it up. Ted was it there too. There's four or five right in a row. Kid had it. And like you said, there was a there was a little hole for a split second, and he just didn't get there in time before they closed it up. Second down and uh, seven here, or nine actually. Uh, about seven minutes left. Your Patriots up seven. Rip. First quarter. Beautiful Pike Road tonight. Another run, oh. Myers, left tackle. That was a nice job, Matt, coming up and filling that hole right yeah, there. Third Here down and seven. All right, folks, if you're in the house, get out of that recliner. Get out of 
out of that futon, get out of that love seat, get off the carpet, and make some noise, baby. Make your neighbors say to you, hey, what you having fun about over there? Say, it ain't The Bachelor, it ain't Survivor. I'll tell you what it is, Pike Road on a Friday night football, baby. So make some noise, start at seven. Let me hear you, baby. And my last tackle was by Mac. He's got 44 on the season so far. Woo! Good play there, well, Myers. squeeze that in there, yeah. Good play. That's enough for a first down. Looked like your team almost got there. Looked like he was going for the ball. Just didn't quite get there in time. It's a good catch by that kid. Oh, never mind. Turn around down and catch one. it on his back hip like that. Good catch. That was a very good catch. Fourth down and one. Oh, they're punting. Wow. Big stop there. Hey, y'all yelling over there. Help. They can hear you all the way up here, baby. I appreciate you. We got to keep it going for four quarters. Some of y'all new to the game. It's four quarters, baby. All right. All right. Very Back nice. Punt for Stanhope, number 17, Colby Byers, sent to receive for Pike Road, number six, Jordan Holm. Yeah, Holmes no, Richard, they, uh, they, you know, they're two and five, one of the three in the region. But, I mean, they haven't lost a game by more than two scores this yeah. season. So, you know, they're, they're playing, playing tough defense, and they're not playing bad. They just haven't, haven't won a bunch. Yeah. All right, ball uh, stopped there at the 37. Hey, first period here brought to you by the Pike Road Patriot Fund. I'm a little biased uh, because myself and Brantley and Bradshaw and uh, Alex Salas, Ryan Harris run that. But Pike Road Patriot Fund, happy and blessed and honored to sponsor the blessed first, the first quarter. And uh, I got some news of that coming up in a little bit. But right now, we got first and 10 at the 37, number 15 Myers in the backfield. Hussey, number seven to his right, and Big Mike, 21 to his left. Hussey now shifted to the left. Here we go. So they're going to be a blitz to that left side. Flag right, down. Looking to take a shot. Like about to throw it deep to who? Britton down there? It looked like they were trying to get it to Caleb down here. He was running with it pretty good. He didn't have time to get out of that pocket. Just going to bring it up. Well, we'll see the penalty is. Assume a hold. That's thrown in the area of the hole. Potential grounding on that one. See that. Uh, That's the call, I assume. It's like NFL, it's a loss of downs. It's an interesting call there. He tried to throw it as he was going down. All right, second down in a country mile. Second down and 22 for the Patriots. Yeah, if he tried to throw it as he was going down, you can't do that. You just take the sack and get to the next play. Well, he's young, folks, freshman. Learning that. That's part of it. I'll tell you what it is. Second and long here. Let's see if we can't put something together. Sorry. Okay, he has some room in big 98. Trips him up there at the last moment. Good play by that kid. Be third down and long. With the tackle for Shanghai. After a loss of one, it brings up third down and 23. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't really the, the drive that we wanted to see no, right there. It wasn't. get backed up behind the chains with the intentional grounding and then the pockets kind of broke down on the two times they were trying to take a shot. It'll be fourth down and long here. Matt Seaman out to punt, which the first two games we probably said number 33's name more than any other player on the field. <laughs> yes. But luckily, we're just announcing it when he makes big tackles because my man was punting a lot in the first two games. We got that cleaned up. And uh, uh, we got fourth and long. We had two Mustangs down at the, their own 45. Seaman's been kicking good all year, Chris. Yeah, I think last week we only had one punt yeah. the entire game for both teams. That's a good, good roll. Punt. Very nice roll. Yeah, get out, get out of the way. There we go. There we go. 
First and 10 for the Mustangs at the 36. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we got a pink out here tonight. We got a good crowd. We got the band going. We got the cheerleaders going. We got the student section over there. Four minutes left. Hey, Pike Road Patriot Fund, man. This year, check it out, prpatriotfund.com. We're doing a deer hunt, a uh, buck hunt, hog hunt. Having a big party at John Hall store on November 4th and December 9th. Go to the website, check it out, man. Buy your tags, even if you don't hunt. Come and have a big time. It's free wings. How about that? Free wings on November 4th at the John Hall store. Then the big party, December the 9th. More to come on that. First down and 10 at the 37 of Stanhope Elmore. Get that edge over there. Nice, that was Cody Markham coming up. Yeah, he came up pretty quick, Chris, <laughs> yeah. I thought he had a lot of room to run, and he came up, he's second down. He did. He, I don't think he enjoyed uh, meeting Cody no, on that play no. either. Cody's one of the six seniors starting on the defense. And, uh, you know, like you said, the first couple of games, he'd be, he'd, he had to do a lot of that. Man. He had to do a lot of that. Um, yeah, you know, last week they threw it around a good bit, so it was more coverage, but you know, they're going to run the ball. He's, I'm sure he's going to have a presence tonight, too. Second down, folks, and five to the 43. Running back. Oh, got, back him, got, him, got him, got him, Chris. Dang it. Uh, block in the back. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Got it. Good job. Blocking the back on um, Braylon. Looks like Jordan Holmes read it great. Oh, great broke on him. Yeah, he did. That guy runs the ball hard. He's, you can tell when he's running, he's he's a strong kid. I call that block the back, Myers. You know, I played a little ball, you know, down at UMS back in the day in, 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 the, in the mid to late 80s. I play a little ball. You don't miss much. No, man. You definitely don't miss tackles or interceptions. Hey, or, I, I, be, well, that's just what you do. You know, I know the game. I'm, 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 I was very good at it at a middle school level. Then I moved like, on really, to, that's the uh, highest level. Right? <laughs> I moved on to basketball, which I was obviously great at. But hey, enough about me. <laughs> I want to hear y'all. Second down and long here. We just got second and third long here. Now they are. Let's go get loud on second down, people. Hey, let's go. Let's go. I want y'all yelling, baby. The screen. Oh, got oh him, yeah. Great job. Woo! Who's that, Akeem? Yeah, Akeem Blackman read that well. Broke hey, on him great. Play like that, Myers. What's the cornerback looking at? That was oh, that, a screen, right? That was a screen. That was the outside linebacker, Akeem. Looked like he kind of dropped in coverage and then read the, uh, the line leaving and then the running back getting out of that little flat man. area and he, he broke on it really quickly. He did a great job getting there. All right, here a lot we go. of times, you know, they're dependent on the, the offensive lineman to get to that second level, uh, the linebackers to get a block, and he, he read it and broke, and they couldn't, they couldn't block him. All right, if you're watching the game with the BP and the Eagle, let me hear you. Let's go. We got them TVs up there. I can only assume they watch it. Third down and long. Let's go. They brought they Braylon from the field. Uh -oh. oh, they went right where oh, he brought buddy. it. It's a good play call, Chris. A Short of the play first call. a little well, bit. To, oh, he gave, yeah. well, he gave him a good spot. No, I think his momentum kept him going there. <laughs> He's short, Chris, by a yard. Fourth down. I assume they're going for it. Hey, folks, help me out here. Help me out. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Put the Cheetos, the Doritos up. Put your phone down, all right? Quit calling your wife or your girlfriend. Don't call both at the same time. But right now, right here, let me get – here you get loud. Fourth down and one, baby. Okay, that was Juju Ju Ju on that last tackle getting off the block. Good job by him. All right, watch the ball. Don't jump. Oh, shoot. God, gosh, dog. That's all right. Woo, Chris. Man, we had him. up there. We had him. I had him. Like I said, that kid's strong. He's yeah, uh, he's, he's going to break an initial tackle. Yeah, he plays 6A football, too. Yes, he does. Uh, he got his mama here, probably his grandmama, maybe his girlfriend. He's he, like, I'm playing tonight, baby. You don't have thir over 1,300 yards rushing for a reason. No. football, first and 10 for the Patriots, 46. That didn't make any sense. You said you don't have 1,300 yards rushing for Richard, no are we going to go back to the tape and no, see how many times you say something that makes sense? <laughs> Yeah, but the people expect me. You went to Georgia Tech. You're higher education. I went to all, baby. All right, here we go. First and 10, 45-yard line, maybe. I'm glad you caught on that. That was pretty good. 
<laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, baby. Nice. Big stop there, Myers. A yeah, big rod. That was a bad Number snap. Oh, he's going to fumble it. Here we go. Yeah. yeah we got the, the crowd the packed ball. here tonight, folks. I assume y'all ain't here because y'all out of town. We're under the weather. If you're under the weather, I hope you feel better. But if you're at home and not under the weather, you better be having a big block party and having a big time, baby, because we having it here, second down and 13 for your Patriots. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, that right there was a Nukes sack. I forgot about that. Gosh, sorry, Nukes. I love y'all. Y'all go buy a sandwich tomorrow. He's rolling right. out to the right. Looks like everybody was covered there. Oh, oh man. man. Woo! Looks like Braylon got a hand on it. He wanted yeah, a piece, yeah. piece of another one like he did last week. And then right behind him was Jordan Holmes waiting for it to come on in, too. I tell you, last week, folks, I, again, I assume y'all watched it or were there. We had, what, five picks, Chris, last yeah. week? Two, two, touchdowns. two pick six, and one that was almost That's a pick right. six by Braylon. They tackled him on the one. That's right. We almost got it. We didn't, but what we do got is second down in a country mile here. Woo. Dang it. We got about a minute and a half left here with the uh, – Mustangs at the 40. They got to get to uh, a little past our 40. Here we go, baby. Brother Blitz from the field Boom, again. Baby. There you go, Cody. Boom, baby. Cody Markham again. Is that right pass to Cody Markham with a big Another great close right there. Dude, you put some pads on him and he's ready to go. <laughs> he is rolling. Got about a minute left here. Uh, shot clock, about 20 second difference. So they should be running another play here. Third down in a country mile. You know, Cody's one of our top tacklers on the season too. He's got 28 on the season coming into this game. So that puts him over 30. That's sick. That's sick, baby. And he's pretty good at baseball. You're <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going to Troy next year on the scholarship, folks. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get, there, get, him. get, there. Oh. get out there, get out there. Boom, baby. There we go. Yes, Good sir. Job. Big stop flag. Dang it, I knew it. What was that? Jacob Bryan. the quarterback keeper. The line left side. Uh, 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 there is a flag on the play. Man, it looked like uh, Corey Timms and Malik just collapsed that pocket immediately. It Face flushed mask. him out of there. Face mask. Yeah. I still don't think that's going to get him there. It's automatic first down, isn't it? It is in the front. The ball is a face mask against Mike Rose. With 24.4 seconds left in the first quarter. Damn, that was a Mike great Rose play, too. Back. But we did call they, a they timeout. They forced him out of that pocket, and Mack was honest, chasing Coach him Shook, down. Coach Shook, good for him. like, I need an explanation for that one. Yeah. Again, ladies and gentlemen, first first quarter brought up the Pacro Patriot Fund. John Hall store is November 4th. Put it on your calendar. Come down there. I got free wings for you. I got, I got free coats and sprites. I got a cash bar. And uh, learn a little more about the hunt. We're going to have uh, throughout the month of November, you can buy tags uh, and then weigh your animals. And on December 9th, we'll be giving away raffle and uh, prizes for first, second, and third. And it's going to be a big time. Again, raising money for the arts and athletics. We've been blessed with the Crawfish Bowl to give out about $200,000 over the years to all three schools, to arts and athletics. We're very blessed for that, and we're very thankful, first and foremost, to all of y'all that come and support us and our sponsors. So, again, check it out. Pike Road Patriot Fund. Learn all about the hunt. We appreciate you, and we love you. That's going to bring up. All right, Chris, you're right. My bad. Third down and long still. Third, third 12. 13. I thought it was automatic first down. Third and 12, folks. Oh, I bet it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> They're rolling out to the right to try that flood concept again. Oh, got his hand in there. Oh, oh nice. Gosh, I thought he had it. <laughs> Either way, baby, that's a stop. I'll take it, Myers. Fourth down and long. They punt. Hey, good job, everybody at home making noise for me. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Hey, you can rest up tomorrow. Y'all ain't gonna be yelling. Y'all gonna be yelling when Ole Miss scores on y'all a lot, you bammers. No, Ole Miss is playing Auburn. Is that right? All right, never mind. Y'all be, I'll be quiet when they score on us Albs. Tennessee <laughs> scoring, you bammers. 
<laughs> Go Georgia Tech, rambling wreck. Back at the 10 yard line, home. Oh, 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 Chris, bad snap. Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> I call that a nuke sack. I don't know if that's a sack or not, but I'm calling Cody it. Cody Markham on a tackle. That kid doesn't stop. Wind him up, Chris. Wind him up. Just let him go. Love it. Wind that kid up, and he's going. Big play there. It was just a kind of a bad snap. The kid did his best. He's trying we to still pick it up there. and get it that's off. That's a nuke but... sack. I don't. I guess that's a sack. I don't care. But nukes. Go there tomorrow. Tell them Pike Row Live sent you. Get some of that uh, Chris Myers Cobb salad, baby. He loves it. First to ten at the thirty-seven, maybe. No, whatever. Got Myers back with Mike. There we go. go kick, there kick we it go. Outside. Boom, boom. All right, Gosh, he runs hard, Chris. I tell you what, first guy ain't bringing him down either. No. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in the first quarter, give yourselves a big round of applause at the house. Y'all helping out. I know y'all helping out. The kids can hear it. Your Patriots seven. The Mustangs zero, baby. Hey, let me tell you a little something, Myers. Football ain't the only sport going on. I got news for everybody. Football's king. Facts. All right, I don't care if you're an angry the only sport. You're Mike Rowe. But I got news for y'all. Coach Joy Washington, Boom. boy, shut your mouth because she is doing awesome. Hey, Chris, I don't know if you know this. We won the area again Wednesday night, fourth year in a row for Coach Joy. In a row. In a row. In a row. How about that, that? That don't happen by accident. No, that doesn't happen all. So hats off to you, Coach Joy Washington. Uh, I'll tell you, volleyball coach extraordinaire getting it done. And the regional tournament starts October the 25th at 2 o'clock down at the Crampton Bowl. The, uh, oh, that's my buddy Barfoot. I like that guy. He's a good friend right there, Myers. A good guy. What do they got going on out here? I think they recognize a Barfield for maybe uh, supporting the school. Oh, cool. Ethan Taylor. And Tory Smith. Got the school board oh, members school out, board there. out there. Yeah. You getting that? Thank you, Bradshaw. Senator Barfoot, for your dedication to the learners. Hey, let me tell you all about Barfoot. I don't care what ministry. political leaning you got. When you see and meet a good man, that's a good man. And awesome. it, it either is or not. Will Barfoot, I'm telling you now, is a good man. If you see him out, sell him hello. And our school board down there, I'll give a shout out to them later. They're doing an awesome job. Uh, and go shout out to them, but boy, I love, I don't know what Will did, but I guarantee you it was something that made a positive impact on kids' lives. You can guarantee you that. And so, Joy Washington, we love you. October the 25th at Crampton Bowl. Y'all be there support. Hey, Chris, hey, no big deal, 33 of, and 5. Speaking of Crampton Bowl, 7-7 uh, seven to seven tied up right now, Carver and Lanier in the West Side Classic. Tell you. There you go, Mike. That's a, oh, a that's a horse collar. There we go. There we go. Hey, tell hey, the folks you, again about the score, Myers. Hey, all I know is you better hold on when he's running. Oh, yeah, it didn't affect him. Uh, seven Looks like they're trying to tempo again. Oh, the West Side Classic, Carver versus Lanier tonight down at the Crampton Bowl. Actually going to be the last one because Lanier. Oh, that's right. They're um, combining. Closing and combining right. with Carver. Uh, right now it's tied up 7 We pulled for Lanier, by the way, folks. Hey, let me tell you, ESPN, you don't get that kind of coverage. Myers is covering a, a, a rival area for us. Boom, baby. That's why y'all pay big monks to subscribe. Well, y'all don't. It's free. Yeah. All right, a horse collar there. That's going to get us to first and 10, Myers, uh, down there. Well, about the 11-yard line. After the penalty, All right, here we first go. and 10 from the 20-yard yeah, line. So we got Caleb and Elias down here to the boundary. We're going to hand it off to A.T. A.T. to the left. Go. He's going to run hard too, buddy. There you go, A.T. Get there. Nice. Hey, Chris, tell them why that horse collar got outlawed. Well, it's just it's one of those plays where you're, somebody's running um, and somebody grabs them from behind up around right, the top of the shoulder pads Adrian and dragging them backwards like that. It's just an injury Six play. So you're trying to protect them from getting injury and getting pulled backwards. There you go. Stick it in there, A.T. Running hard, Myers. Oh. He knew he would. He, he is might down have picked up the first down. Down to the three, Chris. Again on the carry for Pike Road. We going tempo, tempo, Myers. I love the tempo. We seem to operate really well running that tempo. So we got a yard to get the, the first down, third and one. Third and one from the three. And we're going to take the touchdown, baby. Ta, ta, ta! Touchdown! The Woo! Pike get some, baby! Road. Touchdown! What'd you see there, Myers? Break it down for the people. 
What I saw was we were tempoing and running hard, and we blew them off of the ball. And I think that was AT, or they bring Mike in. That was Mike, handed it off to Mike. And Mike does what he does. They, we brought Big Terry on around, uh, pulled him over, and Terry on got on somebody, and Mike followed him right in the end zone. It is 15th on the season. I, I tell you what, here. good luck stopping Mike on a one, one Boy, yard. Good luck. Good luck. Hey, 11 of them tried, Chris. <laughs> they failed. How about that? Eicherman counted. Myers holding. All right, your Pike Road Patriots 14. Stanhope 0. Hey, second quarter. Brought you by Louder New score. Home. New sponsor, man. We're glad to have them out 14. here uh, sponsoring these kids. They uh, sponsor the Crawfish Bowl this year, so they're doing a lot of community stuff and uh, putting their money where their mouth is, going to. And we thank Louder, man. Earlier, D.R. Horton, touchdown. Hey, they ain't scared of competition, baby. I love it. D.R. Horton, Louder New Home. That was a D.R. touchdown. Louder second quarter sponsors. And later on, we're going to have a Brantley Bank, hopefully, turnover. You see my theme? Y'all looking to buy a new house? Go talk to D.R. Horton. Go talk to Louder. Go talk to Brantley. Boom. Competition's a good thing, baby. And we got two of the finest sponsoring these kids. So make sure when you go by and you buy that new house, you get that loan. Hopefully, them, I don't really keep up with all that because I paid cash, baby. But I also don't fly commercial. But when them rates go down, you borrow that money, you go buy your new home from Louder or DR Horton. Thank y'all. All right, Eicherman to kick at the 40. Uh oh, Chris. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. All side kick, baby. Hey, guess who that was? Cody Markham. Oh, shocking. <laughs> shocking. It's not enough to get the last two tackles. Out of way, eight. Nice. Hey, hey, great kick by Ackerman, too. Great kick by Ackerman. Got in the air, got it. They say you wanted us. Was that spinning? Yeah, you wanted to hit real quick and bounce up yeah. high to give you guys a chance. That was a perfect kick. I'll tell you what, kick. that wasn't an accident. I used to watch him in the summer, in the spring working on those kicks uh, right there. Hey, that's I mean, he you, put a lot of time in on well, you. Chris, that's when you make champions. That's what you're doing. Bring in summer. Trying to be great is lonely sometimes. Uh, <laughs> hey, Bring yeah. quote there, baby. What a play, Myers. That's setting us up the 50-yard line. First and 10. We got Myers. We got Hussey. Is that AT? Yeah, good pass. Oh, man. Uh, bounced out Thank of there. You. Second down and 10. Tell you, what, what was that, a quick tell you what, the way they got the safety over them over there, I'd love to see Hussey slide out down on the on the boundary with that kind of set. I like that. We got the bunch to the boundary here. Myers rolling to his left. Oh, he's Oh, mama. Uh, well, that's a hard throw, Myers. You run to your left, throwing across your body. Dang, that close, son. That close. Third down and 10 here. Just a little short. Third and 10 for the 49-yard line. I tell you, he got behind the cornerback there, Chris. He got him behind. He had some grass out there. Like I say, he was rolling to his left. Tried throw. to square it up. Looked like the guy got his hand on it, yeah, too. Third down to 10 here at midfield. About 11 minutes left. Second quarter. Glad y'all are with us. They're going to blitz with the linebacker. Myers stepping up. They have a flag on the play. There is a flag Man, on the play. Myers pass. Intended for number four, Jordan King falls in for two. Man, it looks like if he would have caught that, that DB yeah. took a gamble. He probably yeah. took it to the house. All right. Nothing working holding. on the onside kick. We punted it. Fourth and ten. For the Patriots. Well, I like them yellow shoes he's got out there. Brasher, you need some of them, son. I know you don't jog any, but maybe when you fast walk at the mall, you can wear the, some of them yellow shoes. All right, number 33, seeming back to punt. Two Mustangs at about the 20. He took a while there. Yeah, he did. I was, I was there you go, another good roll. Yeah, sure all right, folks, yeah, all the way nice. down to the 17-yard line. The hey, again, man, we got other sports here. We're talking about George Washington, 33-5. and five. 
So that's off to you, coach, your staff, more importantly, the players. Cross country, they in business right now. They're out there getting after it. Well, I could use to join them and burn some calories, that's for sure. So go by and see a cross country meet, a volleyball meet, support all three schools, arts and athletics. Instead of going home and laying on the couch, pay a little bit of money. A lot of these uh, teams depend on entry fee and support all the Pike Road Arts and Athletics. Here we go, first 10 at the 16. Tall oh, sweep really, tall left, sweep. old school tall sweep. Not much work in there, Chris. Too much room there. Well, you don't see the tall sweep much anymore. McQueen, the ball carrier for the Mustangs. What's that? Who, uh, Jordan, Jordan Holmes, Holmes came in from the corner and kind of squeezed it down, made him cut up yeah. and made the tackle in there. Second down and seven. Hey, Rami, tell you something funny at halftime. <laughs> oh, I will. Yeah, it's, it's good stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's clean, folks. It's not. Oh, high snap. Hey, we're going to take a shot here. Oh, oh, oh man. man. Good God, so Braylon, man. Braylon, Braylon has got his hands on three different passes tonight. Doing a great job hey, Chris, over there. I know I'm not going I wouldn't keep going here. that way. I think we're going to get a pick tonight. Yeah, I think we're getting one. All right, I'm calling it right now. Hey, third down and seven. Let's get loud, baby. Come on, let's go, let's go. Which get is what the loud. defense had to do. Like, you're stopping the run, yeah. forcing them to do something they're not super comfortable no, yeah, doing. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got some ball hawks over there, especially, you know, Braylon and Jordan from those last two games. Third down and seven. Come on, people. Let's go. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. Trey Cavers will get one on you, too, now. Yeah, he will. And that joker can fly. I had to pass again, Chris. He run no, he's, that ain't gonna work. Pass incomplete, folks. Right here in front of Chris and I. Great job, defense there, Chris. Our offense stalled, not much doing on that onside kick. Boom, defense stepped up. We should get the ball back in good field position. Yeah, good, good. That was a good job rolling out. He put the ball where it needed to be. He just couldn't quite get it in before yeah. you know he got out of bounds here. We got our feet there at the 50. Punt return this year. How about Jordan Holmes gets him a little punt return in action for a touchdown? That. 17, Kobe Bayer in punt formation for San Jose Elmore. Jordan Holmes set to receive for Pike Road. Oh. Oh, boy. That's trouble, Chris. That That's trouble, trouble, Chris. That is big trouble. <laughs> yes, sir, baby. Who was that? Who was that, 18? <laughs> 18. Yes, sir, baby. You just run the ball? Woo! Yes, sir, Bradshaw. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't have a sponsor, but I'm telling you right now, all blood punts are brought by Michael Hennig's Goose Colony. He's got geese out there. He's raising them. He's selling them. You want some geese, you call Hennig, and you buy some. Block punt, baby. Is that the first of the year, Myers? Uh, well, I don't know if you, once you count that other one, it's just sack. a tackle. I call, I call that a nuke sack. That's just, okay. But I do call this first and ten at the five. Oh, yeah. I know who I'm giving it to. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. Boom. Ooh. Not much work there. Yeah, they did a good job stopping there. Jones, the ball carrier up the middle. Going fast again, Chris. I love the up tempo. I do too. You take that. No game on the play. There you go. Very nice. Down to the four yard line. Jones, Third down. The ball up the middle. Third Top and goal. Play by number nine, Thomas Williams. After the gain of two, third and goal from the four. Cut, boom. Get it. Get in there. Flag, flag, oh, flag. flag. I'm not going to call it yet. It's a bad area. Jones has crossed the end zone, but there is a flag on the play. Dang it. Holding his ball against Pike Road. Back it up, folks. Third and goal at about the 12 now. It's a good job putting his head down and getting in there. Dang sure enough was. After the penalty, it's third and goal from the 14-yard line. So it's a little confusing down there right now. Well, that safety, I think that was a safety. He came over and read that and took his, cleaned his clock. 
All right, for the goal, Ackerman coming in, 43, Myers holding. It's going to be 32-yard kick here. Cool. Boy, Jordan. Jordan took a shot right there and hopped up. He sure enough did take a shot. Chris, they're getting back in the backfield. Yeah, we don't we don't have a whole bunch of time back there. Get in there. Oh, just a bit just short. short. That gummit, that was close. Online, and just a short. Yard. All right, Pike Good Road shooting awesome. himself in the foot there. Last two possessions. Yeah, you go from uh, you know, penalties are killers. You go yeah. from a touchdown to missing a field goal. Um, but that's that's part of it. It's part of the game. I tell you, you got to manage to it. About, they seem to be getting in the backfield on the passes. They seem to have a good pass rush. Yeah, I mean they're, they're they got a good motor up around the D line. It's definitely they're collapsing our pocket and not, not giving us much time back there. Which looks like we can we can run the ball all night. You know what it looks like to me. So I'd probably try to run it this next series and see if we can get another touchdown up yeah. and then kind of start working on some stuff. But you're right. The, I mean the pocket's collapsing pretty quick right now. They're getting a lot of pressure. But the good news is, so is theirs. Yeah. And they're not able to run the well, ball right I now. I mean, they're just not getting much at all. Chris. Nope. I'll tell you, number one. Is that Malik back you there? You want to see what SEC defensive lineman looks like. Check number one out. One, Malik, Malik Gavin Rogers, Rod, I think all three of them got there at about the same time. Second down and 10 here. Eight minutes left. Eight minutes of some change. He's gonna roll out to his right. Flag on the play. A little Chris. out out there. I think that's gonna be on Stanhope. I'll say this. I feel like we haven't gotten a flow of the game either side. There's been a lot of flags on here. Yeah, it hasn't been very smooth. No, no. I think partly it's some kind of I don't know what was that river dance. What was that going on down there? <laughs> um, okay. Sorry. The. Uh, <laughs> You know, part of it is the defense, at least for their offense, our defense is taking away what they really want to yeah. do, which is run the ball. So, and you can see they're not super comfortable no. throwing the ball around. No. Um, 14. 14 is chunking it around night, maybe more than he has this year. But, hey, he's on the field, baby. I promise you he can make some plays. I promise you this. They don't want to snap for a punt back there again. No, no, no. They've struggled the last two. Good play. I mean, good, good call there. Second down and long, folks. Screen. Oh gosh. Oh, oh. Ooh, there's a lot of traffic there, Chris. Yeah, they tried to run a little Ryan kind of missile screen over the middle there. So it looked like to the slot receiver. All right, everybody shopping in Publix, watching us on your phone. Hey, put the peppers down, put the link cuisine down, put the donuts down, and put the, no, I love their sub sandwiches. Put the Coca Cola's down, and hey, turn your TV up. Let aisle number eight hear you, and aisle number 11 hear you. Third and long, let's go. Hey, let's go. Come on, public. Come on, Y'all go crazy. Big play, right, big right play. D-line should be peeling their ears back. They're getting after him. And the show blitz just brought three get him, get him, and got there with Chris. three. Yeah, right. baby. Nice. Yeah, baby. I think that's a sack. Look that's a big sack right there. Number one on the field, number one in your hearts right there, baby. Hey. Hey, you got to love that. Like we talked about earlier, their, their pocket's collapsing pretty fast, too. And when, you're, when you're bringing three and you get to the quarterback and get a sack, that's, to me, you got eight in coverage. There's no real, nowhere for him to go. Spot on there, Myers. All right, they've had two kind of iffy snaps. So yeah, I think we're a little hungry be, right now, and it's probably in the back of their mind. Could not be very comfortable right no. now. Again, second quarter brought my louder new homes. We appreciate y'all. You're looking for a new home. Give them a call. And tell them we sent you. Oh, we got a good snap and got it off that time. Good job, that kid. There we go, Jordan. Go ahead, take it. Oh, wow. shoestring tackle by number, number one. one. There for Stanhope. Good job by Jordan him. Holmes, 
You know, that's the, that's the young man that uh, D. cleated uh, George King over the middle, too. He looks like yeah. he gets around, runs around pretty well. He's a good football player. You know, that sack by Malik, he's our leading tackler this year with uh, 62 tackles coming into this game, which is he's been doing really good work, which is what you'd expect from hey, a player. Y'all didn't like misunderstand Malik. Myers. He said 62. All right, Kaysen handing it go. off to Big Mike. Uh, go, three Mike. yard run there. Let's say second and seven. Jones, the ball carrier, a two yard gain. Second and eight from the 40 for Pike Road. Again, tempo's up and run. We got Britton far right over yeah, here on Britain our side. Britton Elias down here, and uh, Jordan King and Caleb Foster up to the top. There we go. There you go. There you go. There you Lies. go. Good job. Close to a first go, down Lies. there. Myers for holds claw. Down there is third down and one Jason here. We going fast, fast. Yeah, third and one. There you go, Mike. Pick it up, baby. Boom. 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 That's a first down. That's a uh, Hawthorne, Atchison, and Riddle first down. Hey, I'd, I'd follow Big Terry on, too. Yeah, I'll tell you, I've watched him this year, and he's gotten better every every game, too, as far as the offensive line goes. Big Terry on a right guard. He's done a lot of moving people around here recently. There's just nobody open out there. Hey, I tell you, man, their cornerbacks and safeties have played a good job out there. Nice pass yeah. intended for Caleb Foster. Falls incomplete. Player down here. Hope he's okay. There is an injured player. Hey, when well, we got an injured player down, and obviously I hope he's okay. Um, like talk about some other um, that I hope we stamp out so it's not okay anymore, and that's breast cancer. Uh, I'm sure everybody I'm talking to has uh, had a loved one die of cancer. I know two of my good friends brain cancer in the last, I don't know, three to four to five years. So all cancer is terrible, but this month is breast cancer awareness, and um, – Again, a lot of people, you know, if not everybody listening, has been touched by the disease. And they're doing better, man. They're doing the research is better. They're getting better. But it's still out there. And so if you know of a 5K or donate some money, in fact, this is what I want everybody to do tonight. This list. Hey, give a round of applause right there, there we go. for that big Mustang. I want everybody tonight, they didn't tell me to do this, but I'm doing it anyway. I want you to get on your phone, I'm sure breastcancer.com or whatever organization. I want you to pledge minimum of ten dollars right now i'm going to do it when i get home minimum of ten dollars right now here. everybody Tonight listening to me barns, i want you to do ten dollars all right seriously do that go to your cancer breast cancer website of your choice and let's do ten dollars right now let's do our part me and you and the whole community and uh we love you folks that have survived it and have it we're praying for you we will be and we're back to the action now you know, Mike to the right. Second down and nine. Third down and nine. No, my bad. Tyler Barrett, a two-yard gain, brings up third and eight. Go, go, get outside. Dang, oh. that was a face mask, wasn't it? Ooh. Oh, my gosh, that was not a face mask. a nice mask. Clo close line. That, wasn't. Was, that was another reason I quit playing after eighth grade. <laughs> All right, here we go, Myers. Fourth and eight. We're going for it. It's our first uh, fourth down of the game. I feel like, you know, Chris, I feel like we've been whooping them all night, and we're only up by 14. It's only 14 to nothing, yeah. And Absolutely. P Pike Road will be getting the ball second half, but I need another touchdown. I mean, give him credit. We're trying to throw. They got him no, covered. I, in. They're, I, I, they're I, I collapsing agree. our pocket quickly. I agree. I don't know if he's throwing it without getting hit. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Touch, 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 <laughs> touch, 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 touchdown, <laughs> baby. Woo, get some. Myers, who was that, Hussey or Britton? Hey, that was Drew Britton on a, on a post. What a throw by Myers, man. That quarterback was all over Britton. What a pass and what a catch, Myers. Very important touchdown. Tell the people what you saw. Well, we were kind of talking about the offensive line, you know, letting the pocket collapse, and that time they did a great job, gave him time to step up and stay in the pocket, enough for Drew to get there on that post. And he, he put it on him, and Drew did a great job bringing that in, a great catch, too. Dang, sure enough, threw a good pass. Yeah, that's, that's pretty. A, that, cornerback was, that's pretty. that cornerback was right there, Chris. Yeah, that was a nice play. Not bad for a, for a youngster. Hey, Ackerman is good. Hey, and hey, y'all don't know this, man. Again, I'm sorry, I know y'all watch this every week. Hey, 
Britton, he's going to Baylor next year in a baseball scholarship, never played the game. You know what he said? He said, Coach, give me the pads, baby. I'm playing. And Myers, and Chris ain't going to talk about him, but I promise you I will because they're both very, very humble people. Myers is 14, 15 soon, a ninth grader out there. What a great throw. And Britton never played the game. Great route. And then he put it on a dime. That's not bad for fourth and nine. Yeah, fourth and nine, Chris. Strike for a touchdown. Man, what a throw. And Britton, what a catch. Great job. Man, That's awesome. Awesome. And I like Britton's dad a lot, too. What up, Andy? All right. Eicherman kicking. Eicherman's extra point. 21 nothing. That's a DR Horton touchdown. That's a riddle, Atchison, and Hawthorne first down. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got for that one. Woo! I love it, baby. Love it, love it. Hey, nice cover. There we go. Good coverage right there. Hey, Tackle at the 12. I'd like to give a shout out. My wife just texted me. And, uh, well, she's not at the game, but she works here, works here all the time, up here all the time. She took the night off. I don't blame her. Hey, Tina, I love you. You watching. Tina just brought up a good point, Myers. We got replay. She said the replay at home is working awesome. She's obviously watching the game, watching the coverage. And a shout out again to Michael Bradshaw. Brian Harris, I tell you, they, they amaze me, Chris. Hey, they amaze me. I bring all this equipment up. We're not needing an oxygen mask, but they amaze me. So if y'all enjoying that replay, and we got our boy Mathis up here tonight helping out, I tell you, we're a team Big just time. like this football team. Obviously, Chris and I are the captains. <laughs> uh, you, are, you are. Yeah. No, you're co-captain, buddy. Well, we had a little hey, tackle party there. in the backfield. Yeah, Malik a little tackle is party. Back I like that. The ball carrier, number one, Malik Blockton. Man, replay, Who's that's all right. Brings up second down for Sandhose. So it's 13 to seven Carver right now. Well, we need that to change. I don't know, it's kind of fun going in. Lord willing. You're right, Myers. Next I'm week. sorry. I apologize for Next that. Next week, going I apologize in undefeated for that. In, the, in the area, both teams. I got Carver to talk about later. That's my fault. Actually, I want Carver to win. Oh, Woo, my gosh. Good play by that quarterback. A basketball play. That was a good play. Had to jump up, get the, get it. Then for the time of the jet sweep, he just you know, hey. basically gave him a little touch pass. What Myers just said, we got Carver coming in here next week. We got to take care of business tonight. Don't get me wrong. That brings up a big We're going to talk about it later, but Carver coming in next week could decide the area championship. And so if you've been waiting on one game to come to and you're living in Billings, Montana right now, and you go, man, I'm going to fly down for one game. Or drive. It's or pretty, drive. It's drive. Yeah, some of y'all ain't got the money to fly, <laughs> but I don't really either. Here we go. Get him, get him, get him, Woo. Chris. Oh, he fell down. That's a big play there, fourth down and long. Ooh, Love it. it. Back came off that edge. Intended for Darian Smoke Yeah, and I think that quarterback said, I am getting this thing he, out of he, here. He, he, he didn't want any more of it. I don't blame him. Brings up fourth and ten for the Mustangs. All right, good job there. Fourth and ten, but Carver's coming. In seriousness, I want everybody here next Friday. Please, if you haven't been to a game yet and you've just been lazy, I know you work. We all work, well, most of us. And you're tired and all that, I got you. I even buy, well, I buy ten people's tickets, all right? Um, if you can't afford it, come next Friday because this could decide it. Again, we got plenty of time in this game. We got to take care of business. But next Friday night could decide the area championship. And Coach Shook and them, most importantly, the players. Oh, buddy. Ooh, oh, that's that a, a punt nice there, kid. Myers. Wow. Good gosh. Good go, Jordan. Way to track it. Don't get a block in the back. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Hey, that was nice. Make it. <laughs> hey, there you go, Jordan Holmes. Lower that head. Yeah, number one's a good football player. Number he put one is it. a good football player. That's what Jordan does. That's why I was happy if, you know, was that a couple weeks ago when he was on the offense at receiver? He's one of those guys, his whole life growing up playing football, he just makes people miss when he has the ball in his hand. So it was nice to see him on offense, though, too. All right, so right now we got Caleb and Elias, and uh, we got Jordan Gray out there, and Jordan King. Looks like we got. He's got Pat in the backfield. Ooh, 
Drew got a little bump there, too. Myers pass intended for number four, Jordan Sheen. Falls incomplete. Yeah, Coach Shook's having a little conversation with number him. 27, Randy yeah, I mean, Martin. He was over the top of him, but he stopped and bumped him pretty Second good on the route. From the 43. Here we go. That's in the rearview mirror. Second down Here to 10. Go. There you go, Pat. Ooh. Ooh. Good tackle there. That's a middle, middle, middle linebacker, number zero. Just stuck it in there. Barrier. Stuck it in there good. Pat runs the ball hard, too. Jackson and Anderson with the tackle for Here we go, seven. third down and seven, folks. Third and seven from the 40 yard line. All right, we're better checking in the sideline, see what we got. Little screen to Jordan. Jordan Gray. Not, not, oh, he kept running. <laughs> Chris, that gum, Chris. <laughs> yeah. Got another four yards after contact, at least. He only made like 27 people miss a tackle. After the five-yard gain, four and two. Whoop, 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 whoop. That should have been <laughs> That's pretty awesome. a loss, really. Yeah. There really wasn't much going on there. All right, folks, fourth down and two. We got about two minutes and 20 seconds. Pike Road's got two timeouts left, though. When you get a first down here, again, Pike Road will get the ball at the second half. But I'd like to get another one before then. And they're showing pressure. We'll see if they bring it on fourth to two. Try to draw them off. Hey, Chris, let me ask you that. Out. They went up there, and Myers gets his shotgun. And does he have a play at that point? Coach has told him to call. It depends. And then he a lot claps. Of, a lot of times with like fourth to two, they'll call. I mean, we used to call it freeze. Um, so it wouldn't. If, if you're really trying to draw them off sides. And you don't even run a play, so the guys aren't even thinking there's a play to run, okay. so that they don't jump off sides, call it freeze, don't move. Um, then you just try to hard count them and get them to jump. If they don't, you can't look over to the sidelines and get a signal for okay. a play after that. All right. um, and then sometimes they will have a play and just go on two and be able to run it, but a lot of times you're just trying to draw them off, especially in that situation we're going to call a timeout afterwards anyway. They don't have a play. They're just calling freeze and trying is, to draw them off. Is Casey looking at one coach? I saw two or three coaches were doing signals. Is Casey looking at one guy? Yeah, usually, yeah, they're going to be looking at one guy. I mean, everybody does it kind of different. We used to have, you know, uh, when Coach Browning was here, we were down there. We had a different guy for each position. One guy was signaling okay. oh, okay. an offensive line. Somebody was sending a quarterback. Somebody was still a running back. Somebody was signaling each each receiver. So, yeah, you have a usually the position coach or whoever is going to be okay. assigned to you, and you're just looking for that signal from them. That's why he's the best, folks. Chris, here we go. Hand off. Here we go. Get, Get the first down. We got the first down, baby. 30-yard <laughs> nice. line. Move the chains. All, all thorn out in a riddle. Uh, big Mike. What was that there, uh, Myers? Just hard nose. Looked like just another, just another zone play. We got Malik out there uh, at the tight end and helping to block, and he's a phenomenal blocker too, by the way. Oh, my gosh. What a move. Woo. Hey, get you some of that. Five yards, second down and four. No, six yards, second down and four. But there is a flag on the play. I didn't see that, Myers. Is that legal substitution, Chris? I didn't even see a signal exception pointing at them. The penalty is a legal substitution of Sam Hill. Nailed it, Richard. Look at you. Shocking. I mean, when you're up there with Troy, Troy Aikman for the NFL games, I mean, they don't even need to bring that referee in for you. I agree with you. Yeah, they didn't walk off the penalty. I agree. Patrick Carter, your ball carrier. All right, second play. down and five at the 25. Minute, we got plenty of time. Minute and 40. Keep cheating that safety over there to that twin side. Oh, good play. Uh, He's short on that one, Chris. Yeah, that, that came off weird. That looked strange. Third down and four. 
stop the clock, minute 30. We've got plenty of time, got a timeout. We need to get a first down here. And I think Myers told me the clock will stop if we get one. But again, minute 30, is a, that's a long time in football, baby. We should still have a timeout or two. Got one timeout left. Really good. A little yard short, two yards short. Fourth down and one here. Jones, the ball carrier for Pike Road. Runs around right side, but just short of the line. Got out of, out of bounds, stopped the clock. That brings up fourth and one for the Patriots. Tiger men here kicking with uh, Myers holding. Woo, I mean, that's a heck, that might be the best run I've seen him all year. Yeah, it's mid, I think that was a middle linebacker. Uh, he maybe had three yards, into. three yards maybe. Whew. And he said, I'm not done. Hey, Ackerman, it's good, like he baby. He disappeared for a second, and then all you saw is him skirt out the Gosh. back end for a touchdown. Hey, man, folks, I'm telling you now, special player. Special player does special things. But we say it all the time, there's 10 other people on the field. All right, these kids, they got good God-given ability, but through hard work in the weight room, the offseason, and coaching Myers, and then when you get them out there together, they play. But sometimes you just, that individual effort shows a little more sometimes. And on that play, boy, it sure did there. Yeah, what I, a great run. 2-1 yeah, Big Mike. That's I'd a good series, Chris. I'd love to give everybody credit on that play, but kind of got to give Mike a bunch of that credit yeah. on that because he yeah. just made a phenomenal run right there. Man, here. what a great job by 2-1. And you can see a special player that he is. Man. Start out a little slow first quarter, Chris, but there's been some fireworks since then. Out of bounds there. Just it's just not a big deal because you're only gonna, you know, you only get 10 more yards. Yeah. 35. Hey folks, halftime. I tell you, I, I didn't realize it to my left there. And uh we got your Pike Road Patriot band, baby. Best in the South, best in the nation, best on this continent, and best in the other eight. How many continents are there? Eight. For the 35. Yeah, sounds good. 12, 20. 12? Gosh. I don't know how many, how many continents there are, but they're the best in all of them. <laughs> know that. Uh, hopefully Stanhope's fans will come out and play. So y'all make sure y'all watch them and then go get you uh, some of them uh, cheese dip y'all got, little uh, egg rolls, whatever you're cooking in the grease tonight. All right, heck of a job for Mike Jones. So that so far that first half had 15 carries, 116 yards, and three tutties. That's one. That's two. Count it. That's three, son. Oh, good throw. Good catch. Good catch. Yeah, Trey was there right when he was catching the two. 43 seconds. They got all three timeouts, folks. They're at the 50. It's you would two, think they'd call. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Hey, look, let me tell y'all something. Halftime is sponsored by my boy Brian Harris and Dogwood Media. Let me tell you something. Who wants to be number three or number four? No, sir. You want to be number one. Do you want your business to be number one? If not, go pull for another school because we want you to be number one. And how do we do that? I'll tell you how we do that. We get a marketing plan to get there. We get advertising together. Dogwood Media, Chantilly, down by that gas station that took five years to build. Go by there and you tell them that Myers and White sent you. Talk to Brian Harris, their crew, his staff. Hey, do you want to be number one, baby, or do you want to be stuck at second? That's what I thought. So go by and see my boy down there. Tell them we sent you, Dogwood Media, doing it out here for the school, for the football team. And y'all go down there and give them an opportunity. That's all I ask. Give them an opportunity to earn your business. And I think you'll like what you see when you meet with them. All right. We got second note. Check it. First down and 10 at the 50. I'm here with my boy Myers on a beautiful night in Pike Row. We're up 28 rip. Plenty of football left. Glad. First of all, blessed y'all are here. And uh, glad y'all are listening and watching. Oh, oh boy, oh, good defense, go. Chris. Good courage by Jordan Holmes. Good he, he defense, Chris. Pass intended for number 20, Zach Holcomb. See, the first first Cody half of this might surprise you, Richard, but Cody Bo Cody Markham has five tackles already on the game and a and a block punt. Hey, did y'all hear that, people? 
one, two, three, four, five. Pretty good half. Yeah, and D1 baseball uh, uh, player, no big deal. Second, I tell you what, man, the band takes up the, ha the whole field. <laughs> Gosh. Well, they better not run an out pattern. You take the, the flute out or the, I don't, what are those, not the flutes. The, Xylophone? Uh, no. <laughs> Court, court. Maybe. No, not the two. Gosh. I don't want to help him. Get him, get him, get him. Yes. Yep, know where to go. The Good thing job. they beat, uh, Brasher. Pan down there to where they hit him with the things. <laughs> the big thing there, they hit it. We're going to. Oh, it is a xylophone? Hey, Mars. Sorry, Richard. I didn't know you were a band minor at Tech. Well, that xylophone, if they run an out pattern, that girl better get out of the way, and that xylophone's going to be taking a fall. Might sound pretty cool, though. <laughs> Boy, it would sound cool, dude. <laughs> They'd be hitting all uh oh, here we go. Give me some, give me some air time there. Give me a Meyer some air time, baby. I want you to, right now. Get up in the house. <laughs> get up the, in the house. Is that the river dance again? That's the river dance. <laughs> I'm keeping it clean. My mom and dad are watching. I love you, mom and dad. Granny. We Granny glad in here, the house. Woo. Hello, Granny. Yeah, and my son's grandmother, Dee Dee, also watching. We love y'all. Come on, everybody up. Have a big time. Have fun. Woo! How, where else can you have this much fun there, Brian Harris? Come on. Don't tell me the fair. Boy, I love this song, boy. <laughs> I can Woo! tell. Does it have a xylophone in it? Yeah, it has a xylophone <laughs> in it, boy. <laughs> Oh. All right, uh, yeah, we've called Malik's name a bunch. He's got Tell four, us about him. He's got four tackles with a sack also no in the deal. first half. One, Just, two, three, four. Just got to do what you do. Do what you do, exactly right. Third down and ten. Let's go, boys. Go, 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 boom, 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 boom. Give him another one, too. That was Malik in there. Made that two sacks, Myers. You know, give Akeem some credit there, too. He he yeah, came he on did. the outside, yeah, forced him up in the pocket, and then Malik closed on him. Very nice. All right, folks, don't we got about 10 seconds left here. Don't forget, watch the two bands. Go get you something cold to drink, something hot to eat. Uh, call your mom and dad. Tell them you love them. Tell them to tune in. It's free, time, baby. Time out with three oh, seconds no, my left. My bad, my bad. Get what you pay for. I got an idea. They're probably going to try to sling it downfield. I would. I would. Hey, it worked for uh, who all? Who all has had some big ones? They run a fake Colorado punt. Colorado that fake year. Punt. What do you think? Fake punt. <laughs> Love a fake punt. <laughs> well, they won't throw a tight end fake. Nobody has tight ends anymore. It's a sad and day. The Just the NFL, you know, the best. Freaking, yeah. The best team on the planet. Only the highest level. It is. Yeah. We won't talk about that, Richard. No, we won't. <laughs> a little close to your heart there. <laughs> Trying to talk Kaysen in to put some weight on him, move the tight end, but, you know. Did, did it take? <laughs> Hadn't got him there yet. <laughs> hey, man, the chicks dig the QB. <laughs> and again, I apologize to all Atlanta Braves fans. Pathetic. Anyway, go Texas Rangers. I don't watch a lot of baseball. They had a good season, though, didn't uh, they? Who cares about the season? <laughs> That's pathetic. <laughs> Come on, Cunha. All right, here we go, baby. Third and long. Hey, I'll be honest. They go deep, Chris. We can look at pick it and run it. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's going to be the triple. Uh, oh, boy, he's done. Uh, that kid's like, Coach, don't call that again. One, that was almost like a WWE two. sack right yeah. there. The He's coming, the coming across with a side. Hey, three sacks there, Myers. Ladies and gentlemen, love give it up for your Pike Road Patriots. Big round of applause for them. Y'all watch the band. Go to the bathroom. Get something to eat. Call your mama and then come back and see us second half. We're thankful. No, we're blessed first to have y'all. We love you. We thank you. We'll see you in 20.
and gentlemen, on behalf of Superintendent of Elmore County Schools, Mr. Richard Dennis, and Principal Yul Fuller, we are pleased to present the Stand of Elmore High School Pride of Millbrook Marching Band. This evening, we invite you to sit back and relax as we present Randall Standridge's Dragon Hunt. The drum major is Clarence McMillan, Assistant Drum Major Men Moore, Band Captain Michael Berenger, Assistant Band Captain Sophie Baltzell, Color Guard Captains are Morgan Moss and Kira Powers, and Dance Captains are Sarah Grace Nickerson and Emily Sewell. Major Clarence McMillan, is your band ready? Ladies and gentlemen, the pride of Millbrook.
suddenly, from the shadows, the Dragon Lord's minions attack. Final blow.
Up on and get him a Coca Cola. Hey, we're glad you're here. Third quarter about to get started. I do this on all games Friday night, Monday night, Saturday, you, it don't matter. Third quarter, if you at the house and you're in the military, you ever served or you are serving, I'd like for you to stand up and everybody give them a big round of applause right there. I do it third quarter. 
if you've lost a loved one serving, obviously extra thank you to you. I firmly believe it. We enjoy it right now on Friday night. So I promise you it ain't free. And uh, the men and women that have served, thank you so, so much. We love you. An extra thank you. And uh, Israel, give them heck. I'm not supposed to get political up here, but I don't care. They can take me off there if they want to. So give them heck, Israel. That's what I say. All right. Back to the ball game, baby. 28 nothing. the good guys. We are blessed and honored you're watching tonight. I hope Chris is okay. Last time I saw him, they were talking about two for one hot dogs. And he was elbowing little kids and old women to get to them. So I hope my boy's all right. I know he is. Hey, third quarter brought to you by Pike Road Pediatric Dentistry and Family Orthodontist. Let me tell you something. You're like, man, I wish they had three locations. Boom, they do. Prattville, Bell Road, and right here by one of our sponsors, Brantley Bank, right there in Pike Road by Publix. Stop by and see Dr. Litchfield. Dr. Owens, the other docs, staff, and you tell them, hey, I'd like for y'all to look at my kids' teeth and maybe get some braces. That's who you need to go talk to if you want to. And you tell them that Pike Road Live sent you. They sponsor the third quarter. Again, Pike Road Pediatric Dentistry and Family Orthodontics right there in Pike Road by Publix, by Soul. Bell Road and Prattville, third quarter sponsors. We thank them. Thank all of our sponsors, D.R. Horton, Hawthorne, Atchison Riddle, Newt's, Brantley Bank, Pike Road Patriot Fund, Louder New Homes, Pike Road Dentistry, Family Orthodontics, and Vickers and White. Thank y'all so much. Again, we've had a good game here tonight. Good game. We got a peek out. I'm gonna do another challenge to y'all in the fourth quarter about donating. But right now, we are kicking off here at the 40, uh, going from my right to my left. Beautiful night here, get a little, little, little chilly. My boy Bratcher, I just noticed he's got his sweatshirt on. He doesn't have good irons, he doesn't get thin blood, so he gets cold easy. And he's yawning too, jeez man. Party just started, Bratcher. Not much doing there. Down to the 31 32. Again, we bless and honor and thankful for all y'all watching. Again, shout out to my mom and dad down there in Louisiana. And Dee Dee, other grandparents down there in Cloverdale. And Myers uh, Garani watching down in Panama City. We thank them. We thank y'all for watching. I know it's free, but unfortunately, y'all got other stuff y'all could be doing and watching. But we are blessed and honored, and thank you for being here with us. Anybody see Myers? Hey, they started back, by the way. Oh my gosh. I know he's city council. He's, was he running for president? And his son's on the field. Uh, Myers, man. Hey, I'd like to thank. Was that first, second down? Uh, yeah, second down and seven. Go, 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 dad, gum it right off his fingertips. Again, man, Myers, Chris Myers, Richard White here. Blessing, honored you're watching. But the heavy lifting goes to Brian Harris, Michael Brasher, Mathis up here. I promise you, you need to thank him, buy him a beer, or coke, or something, because it takes a lot of effort to get all this stuff up here and take it down. And uh, I'd like to thank them uh, very much for doing that. Chris and I got the easy. Hey, welcome back, Chris Myers. Hey, you said you're going to Crystals, man. You should have brought something back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, talking for Last time I saw you, you were elbowing a little kid trying to get one of them hot dogs. Go. Got a boy. Oh, nice catch, Brazy. All right, fourth down and one. No, check nice that. Pass. Right at the line, Chris. Let's see where they spotted. Yeah, move it. Move it, move it, baby. Yeah. That's a Hawthorne, Rich, uh, Atchison, uh, Myers, you missed a running play, not much doing. I saw the pass Myers play. pass right off the fingertips, and now we got that cooking down there to Hussey. You know, I was down there talking football, getting scores, 14 okay. to 19. Uh, Carver's up over there Good. in the West Side oh. Classic. 
Oh boy, there he is, Got Chris. Got there him. he is, Chris. Got him. 30, 20, it's a foot race. Man, Push out of bounds. Move the chains. Hall for that shit at Riddle. First down, yes, sir. With the big for the Patriots. You know, we saw that he last, took his time. We saw that last week. And the play, the play was actually for the other side yeah. of the field. And they ran that fake, fake the fast screen, try to get him down deep. And it wasn't there. So he rolled out. And then Drew Ritz, scramble play, get down the field, Gosh. found him, got him, very nice. Very nice. I like it coming out of the second half. Aggressive. Uh, second down and seven there. Gosh, what a beautiful throw and catch there from uh, Myers down there to Britain. That was about a 30 yard scamper. With the two yard gain, second and eight for Pike Road. Ooh, he's about to get Jack. He did get Jack. It's a penalty. Ooh, a lot of Jacks nice. Nice. going on there. A lot of. Ooh. There is a hard play. Jordan Gray over right there. there. Myers got the Jordan Gray is complete. Oh, legal man downfield, Nelsville receiver. Dang, Casey took a shot. The ball dude. is an ineligible receiver you know, I mean, against the Patriots. It looked like the ball was out. I know, I agree before Way he took before off. Way before he hit him, too. Hey, what is that, Chris? The lineman can't go until they release the ball? Well, yeah, I mean, I think that was a RPO, so they're blocking run up front. So okay. one of them probably just released to that second level and got you know, a little farther downfield than what you, what you can be on a pass play. Oh, right there, good cut. Ooh, Ooh, he tried to rip he tried it out to of there. ball out, didn't he? All right, Jones third down and seven here. The receiver of Cameron Anderson with the tackle after the four-yard game, third and nine for the Patriots. Yeah, so if you didn't catch it early, it's 14-19, Carver's up. It's a one-score game over there. There we go again, folks. Carver and Pike Road might, if we can hold off tonight, Carver wins to be a massive, massive area championship game next Friday. But right now, we got to take care of business here. We got third down and eight at the 17 yard line, maybe. Oh, nice, nice catch. catch. That's the way to go up and get the ball. Good catch Myers there, Chris. Fourth down and two. Number four, Jordan King. Complete. How's Jordan King? He's uh, he's taking a couple shots yeah, tonight too. He's, he's a tough joker. Fourth and two for Pike Road. Gonna give Eichmann a chance at a field goal oh, here. Wow. I like it though. Give, give him a chance to, for. I was to, just about to say. Because he came a little short no, last time. Need a good snap, get it down, let him and, hey, feel another field goal. And I tell you, Chris, as, mo as most games, you know, the more you move into the playoffs, the closer they get. And uh, that leg could come in a massive play throughout yep. the uh, playoff run. Yeah, absolutely, it matters. <laughs> step, hold, kick. Yes, sir. There we Chris. go. Very nice. Yeah, I love that, Chris, right there. And he had some more leg on there, too. Yeah. Good kick by Eicherman. Again, he was sitting around playing soccer and cross country. And the coach saw him and said, hey, man, you want to play on Friday nights? He goes, uh, yes, I do. So hats off to that kid. The, him and Britton. Most people don't start their senior year. But uh, hats off to that. 31 nothing, Chris. What are the keys second half, bud? I mean, honestly, it's just keep doing what we're doing. We've done a really good job on special teams and covering, covering the kickoffs. He's doing a good job moving the ball around, too, and placing it in different places. Um, Run the ball really well. Just had some nice passes. The other, we had the one touchdown strike um, that first half, but it's been pretty balanced. I think we can run it as much as we want, to be honest with you. Um, and it's, uh, the key is the defense tonight. Like, like I said, they live and die with the run. That's where they're comfortable, and our defense is completely taking that away, especially up front. We're just beating them up front is what's going on right now. Uh, so if we keep doing that, it should be a smooth sail in the second half. But again, back to what we talked about last, uh, last week, we need to finish the game. Yeah, second. See, well, see why am I talking about special teams early? Good play there. Number 18, Darian Smoke receives the Eichmann kickoff. Tackle on the play by number 32, Alex McLeod. Sand Hill Delmore will have the football first and 10 from their 48. 48. Well, he almost slid through there, didn't he? Yeah, he did almost slide through. That's a good play on McLeod. Man. He's been a special teams nightmare tonight for them, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been all over the joint, man. Well, that's man, how he plays. Play. He's he's wide open. He will go stick it in. He is a very tough, tough tackler football player. 
All right, folks, the first down and 10. Mm -mm. Nothing there. Nowhere. Nothing there. Good job. That's Rod. Number four, McQueen, the ball carrier. Tackle on the play for a three yard loss. Number 54, Rod Faber. That's a good hit, Chris, right Very there. Very nice. Back. Yep. Yeah, you can see you can see it right there. I was watching to see what the line of scrimmage looked like. We just we won the line of scrimmage. We pushed them back. He didn't have anywhere to go. He was gonna try to bounce it, but by then he just had no time to do anything except get tackled. Second down 13 here around midfield. 31 nothing, eight minutes left. 14 bad pass. Nice run. Good, 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 good job, good job with their coach. I mean, if you're sitting there and your pockets getting collapsed, getting collapsed, getting collapsed, you know, move him out of there. Let him roll out, try to get out in space, and at least you see downfield, have a chance to take a shot. And if not, he made a really nice play with his legs. Third down and eight, maybe. Looks like that left tackle did uh, not agree with what the center was trying to do there. Yeah. <laughs> they moved and he went over and had a couple words for him. It'll be third and eight with the ball at midfield. Finished him up, but if somebody came screaming. I don't know if that was a corner blitz or the outside linebacker, but somebody came screaming in the backfield. It was a good job getting that ball out. He's yeah, a really good nice job throw. 14. Yes. First down and 10 at the 34 yard line. So they're trying to do now. some tempo himself. Oh, he found it. Yeah, he dropped it in there. Yeah, good pass and catch there by Stanhope. Looked like there was some confusion on the back end. I think we had two guys back there for their two receivers, but I think both of our guys were on the inside receiver and nobody was on that outside guy. Yeah, that was nice. You dropped it in the bucket right there. Well, the second half. But it's all right. You got 31 6 lead. Kids got a, well, it's the first time we've seen the kicker tonight. So, well, he's also the quarterback. No, he's not. I'll shut up. Yeah, it sounded, sounded good, though. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you could tackle him. Connects with the point after. And with what in the world? Flag on the, the play. Quarter, your score, Stando Palmore 7, Mike Rose 31. Uh, yeah, somebody, somebody let Rod know you can't tackle the kicker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he got <laughs> Get up looking surprised, like, oh, what? Like, hey, I, don't, hey. I said you can't do that. Get back to that river dance. <laughs> oh, I like this one too, Brian. Let's go. They just scored. We need you to get up and have a little fun now. It's Friday night. Yeah, baby. Tell them, Michael. Yeah, baby. We rocking it here in Pike Road. You better be here next Friday night rocking it with us when Carver comes to town, baby. I want it packed. I want it loud. We're going to have some Michael Jackson for you. You're going to be here and woo, dance in your seats, baby. You going to give us a moonwalk next week? I'll give you a moonwalk next week if you're here. I like it. But what I want now is a 95-yard touchdown. That sounds good. There we go. There we go. I like it. Oh gosh, Chris. Oh, that's bad. I'm going to tell you, you got that. That Rick is showing off our player's face mask. Dang it. It's tough. He just knocked the crap out of it. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I'm not sure if that was planned or. 
Oh, that was the hole. I'm going to kick it hard. I hope it ricochets. Man, it worked. Come on, defense. Let's go. Gosh, come on. Second half blues needs to go away. Just a straight up quarterback uh, run right there. Uh, oh, yeah. He knew it was coming. Well, good job, Raylan and Akeem. Outlaw's been, yeah. I mean, every game just been getting better and better and more comfortable. Like he's playing his, he's playing his tail off. He's got 44 tackles coming in on, to this game on the season as well. First, I thought it was a screenplay, but nope. Yeah, it's not. Good job by that quarterback getting out of that pressure because we had brought it and um, ran around that left end and then that receiver just fell back. I think it was King, I think maybe he was holding. It's going to bring up second down, let's say 17 maybe. After the penalty, second and 19 for Sandra Melbourne from their 49 yard line. Boy, Jason Isbell does a good job down there announcing Myers. He really does. He ain't much to look at, but boy, does he have a voice. He sounds great. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Him and Lance, they got a whole rocket down there. They get here early, man. Uh, doing a good job for your Patriots. Here we go, second and long. Nope. Mm. Just. A little, bit, a little bit low. Yeah. Try to get it out there real fast and get him the ball. But. 14 kind of has a sidearm. He's got a wind, little wind up motion yeah. with it. I bet he plays a little baseball. Looks like it. Yeah. Hey, don't forget, folks, Coach Threadgill and the basketball guys, they got uh, starting practice. They've been out there getting after it. We got basketball season coming up. So make sure you support them and wrestling and the baseball. And, Girls sports and uh, athletics, man. Y'all make sure y'all support arts and athletics at all three schools. Ball sweep. Get him, get him, get him, get him outside. There we go. There we go. That's going to be fourth and long decision time for the coach. Yeah, might, have been, might have been a little bit of a hold on Sid there. It looked like he took on the block and it was going to shut up and he was holding on. But we still stopped him a little short being fourth and 12. There we go. It's like they're bringing a punt team out. The Mustangs in punt formation. All right, Myers. That was a big stop, Chris. Yeah, that was a touchdown, onside kick, little Try, momentum. Trying to steal and then some we momentum. stopped it, so I You're love exactly it. Love right. it. 31-7. You're exactly right, like you always are. No, no, I'm not, Chris. You're not? I'm, I'm, I'm right a lot. Yes. No, not all the time. No. Not all the time. Ooh. Australian kicker there. Out of bounds, probably the 30 maybe. Yeah, 30 yard well, line. Hey, uh, he almost put it in their medical tent over there, I think. Which that'd be nice. Maybe we could get a medical tent one day. <laughs> hey, third quarter, man. We're glad you're listening. We're proud of y'all. We love y'all. First of all, we bless you listening. Third quarter brought to you by Pike Road Dentistry, Pediatric Dentistry, and Family Orthodontics. Three locations, Prattville Bell Road, Pike Road. Y'all go by and see them and tell them that Brian Harris sent you and uh, tell them thank you for supporting your Pike Road Patriots. Uh, six minutes left, 31-7, the good guys. Third quarter. But Stanhope's got a little momentum going, so I'd like to get one in the end zone here, boys. Take Ooh, getting jacked, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we might need to block somebody there. Well, I've been noticing all night uh, I don't know what number he is, up. but he's been getting free. Is there a defensive end out there, number nine, I think? Hey, that blind side. <laughs> it's kind of important. The reason they pay a lot of money in the NFL for left tackles. I mean, he's just lined up on the line of scrimmage, yeah. too. I mean, nobody Ooh. blocked him no, at he didn't all. he get touched. Dang it. I'll say this, though, Myers. We're consistent. 
When we start going back, we go ahead and say we're just going to keep going back. Yeah, let's just, let's just do it well. Whatever you do, do well. Hey, it's, Seaman, warm up. But, <laughs> yeah. well, hey, I got news for y'all. Second ain't 15, 15 ain't nothing these Patriots, baby. Ain't nothing. I mean, that guy came in around that corner again. Go, 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 I touched him. Yeah. Number one again. Yep. Meyer pass. Number 18, Jordan Gray, is complete after the five yard drive. Uh -oh. That's, that's their best player. I hope he's okay. I'll tell you, folks, number one, Stanhope is down. Again, I hope, obviously, he's okay. He has. He has played lights out kids, tonight. Yeah, kids, there is an injured player. He's a baller. Hey, shout out to all of our trainers, Chris. Again, we forgot about them last week. Did we? Yeah. It must have been the rain. Yeah, it was rain last week. Of course, we were out there. <laughs> yeah, but our tent was nice. <laughs> yeah, that tent was real nice. We didn't have last week. Hey, give it no, up. He's up here running off. Good I job. Got oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Mr. Caffey is a heck of a football player. All right, folks. You got so we might want to figure out blocking that uh, blindside yeah, defense again, blind too. I don't think we've touched him yet. No. I think he's touched us. I'll tell you, though, Chris, he's so aggressive, maybe a little dump off, a little screen to the left side might be in order. Or maybe you're like, well, that's stupid because the safety's ro rotating. No. I mean, anytime you dump it off to Mikey, I think mean, yeah, you got a good point. chance. Ooh. Boy, Myers fired that one in there. Hang it. Here, we go. Here comes Mac. Fourth down, 10. Penalties kill you. They kill. They kill. There is an injured player. He's okay. Come on, bud. Oh, I'm trying to get him up. Here we go. This looks like a little cramp, maybe, hopefully. All right, 545, 31-7. Hope you all are having a good time. Hope you have a bunch of friends at your house, family. Hope you enjoy the evening. Number seven, Canadius Cunningham, such a receive for Sandhub. What are we doing here, Chris? Help me so, out. Fake pump out, possibly. Look like he's wide open down here. Yeah, help me out here. Uh, I don't see our quarterback out there. Oh my gosh, Chris. How about it, Mars? Oh, oh, baby! He's in the 40! Oh my gosh! Go crazy in the house! Let's go. go crazy! Woo! Hey baby, I'll call that La Trickery. That's rich for the trickery. Hey, you said you love the fake punt. Oh my gosh, Myers. Oh, we got a player down. Shoot, man, another player down. Myers, break that down for the people, please. <laughs> well, Jordan Holmes was wide open. Running, <laughs> running down the seam Who right there. I, I think he said Akeem Blackman maybe oh, threw okay. it. Um, I can't tell who it was. Hey, Jason Isbell said Akeem Blackman. I'm going with him. There we go. Yeah. He sounds great. Down. He's usually okay. right, too. Hey, look, folks, I'm going to say it again while we have a quick break down here. And I said it in the second half, but listen to me. Hey, me, you, we can make a difference, man, hopefully on breast cancer. Breast cancer awareness. I want everybody tonight, everywhere you are, I'm going to do it when I get to the house. Go to a breast cancer website, and I want you to donate minimum of $10. Minimum. We've all been touched probably by somebody with cancer. It's a sinful, dreadful, evil disease, no matter what kind. But this month, we're having a pink out here tonight. The cheerleaders with their pink pom-poms, people wearing pink. I'll be honest, the only thing I had in my house was a pink tie. Um, and so... My boy uh, Myers right here got the pink Pike Road football. So tonight, right now, get your phone, quit looking at your Facebook statuses and, and uh, MySpaces and Instagrams, and I want you to donate minimum of $10 right now. Please do that and, and uh, think about some of y'all have lost loved ones, unfortunately, or, or now got folks struggling. So let's do our part, me and you and the community. The Pike Road's a special place, man. But no matter where you are tonight, Please, please donate minimum of $10 in honor of Pike Road or your loved one or someone that you're thinking about, man. We can make a difference, hopefully, and uh, just really appreciate y'all hopefully stamping it out. And big, 
big round of applause right there. Uh, Myers to that player. Hopefully he's okay. Uh, good. He's, getting he's getting up. Hey, we love you. Let's do our part. I know we can. The you know, American Cancer Society is a good one. If you're not sure where to go, you can go there. And I'm sure they have a breast cancer specific link. There you go, Myers. American Cancer Society. And let's do it, baby. I'll do it when I get home. I promise y'all. That's good. That young man's coming off. He's not coming off on his own, but he's at least yeah. putting weight on both of us. Yeah, I hope he's okay. Hey, it's a physical sport, Myers. And these trainers on both sides of the field doing a good job helping these kids out, man. Very good job. There you go, right to the running back out there. That's that left to the left I told you about. That was your call. Go, ball on the ground. That was your play. All right, never mind, never mind, folks. My bad, my bad. Gosh, that must have been a cleat or something. No ball on the ground. <laughs> my fault. There was a cat running out there. There's a cat. Timeout. There is an injured player. Gosh, yeah. dog. Hey. Anyway, I, I hope he is okay. That last pass I'm not sure why the clock is still running, but, you know, that's interesting. Yeah, we're going to need to stop that. There we go. Myers right there. Chris, what was that? Just a little dump off to Mike. Yeah, they were in that tight butt set over there. They had so the three receivers right there about I don't know, th three yards off of the offensive tackle to the left. And they all ran a route, and Mike ran, you know, just a little bubble out there. And I'm sure he's he's got a key over there to see, if, you know, which defenders, if they drop, then you go to the running back. If they come up and take him, then one of those guys are going to be open. So he's making a read off of that. And what they gave us right there, you know, Mike was wide open. Good play. Hey, uh, well, you called it, so. Well, I hope, obviously, the kid's okay. Uh, we've had about three in a row here. Um, hey, I, I, you know, y'all know me. Most of y'all, um, actually, some of y'all might not. Most of y'all might not know who I am. But I love Pike Roads. Great community. But, hey, the leaders. Right, he's talking about he's it every walking game. Off. Good job there, him Let's walking off. Way. Hopefully he's okay. Dr. Langford, Miss Manis, trailer. Uh, guy to my right, city council member Chris Myers, uh, one of the humblest guys I know, won't brag on himself, but I'll brag on him and the city council as a whole. Our school board, Mayor Stone, it's a community effort in Pike Road, man. I love living here, been part of it a long time. And uh, thank the leaders, because I'm telling you, without the leaders, I think society starts to crumble. So make sure you thank all the leaders, possibly. Thank all the leaders uh, out here at the Pike Road schools and um, in, in, the, in the town hall, and we thank them. Here we go, second down and two. Slant pattern wide open. Good job, Myers. Nice. Good job. Who was that, Chris? That was Jordan Gray. I was yeah. looking over here. We had that bunch to the boundary, and there was just a ton of grass right there. So it was one on one. If he can beat him to the inside, it was there. He threw a, a really nice strike um, on the run, hit him right in the chest. I tell you, though, 15, the Myers threw a pretty pass there, a pretty ball in that slant, Myers. Yeah, he put it right on him on there. there. Not much working there. Yeah. Try to run it to the right. Yeah. Who's that, 18? Second yeah. down and 10. And Stanhope band doing their thing down there. Yeah. Stanhope got a good uh, crowd out here tonight. They rocking it. The cheerleaders rocking it. The band's rocking it. Ooh. We are not rocking it on that play. Yeah, they keep coming off of that left side pretty Maybe quick. Backwards. Thornton, the ball carrier. Tackle made by number 33, Nick right, here we go. Third down and 13. Like you said, we go backwards. We do a pretty good job yeah. of it. Third and 14. So we got a little match up there to the field. Ooh, Myers waited. Did you see that? Oh, nice. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Touchdown! Very nice. Hey, have patience. Great round. Good coverage on the DB. And number 15 threw right over the heads into the basket. Great play by the coach. Great execution by the whole team. And great throw and catch there. Man, that was great. They ran that earlier as a slant fade. So the outside, outside receiver running a slant. The guy in the slot, Jordan King, running a fade. 
Ran that earlier and through it patient. to Elias on that slant. And then he Gosh. waited on that for that fade to open up. Beautiful and, pass by Myers. Yeah, I guess he dropped it in there on that and one. And, hey, good protection that time. Yes, Myers that had time. time to sit there in that pocket and throw the strike. You get 15 time, people, and I'm telling you now, He's dangerous on the it's run. You get 15 in that pocket, quarter, hey, it's going to be a long bus ride home. I'm just telling you. And with the line blocks, the King made a great move, by the way. Yes. Got right behind that safety or cornerback, yep. and uh, 15 dumped it in. I you commend good on the uh, kick. They say on, on on balls like that, when, if you're if he's even, he's leaving. And he got even with that DB, and he yeah. passed him right over no. the top. Like, time you to like get Talladega, it out. Talladega on the back stretch. You hit the gas, and you pass, Myers. Hey, yeah. touchdown, D.R. Horton, touchdown. My bad, uh, Atchison and Riddle, my fault. A lot of first downs on that play. I don't know if there's a lot or not. But anyway, first downs on that drive for Hawthorne, Atchison, and Riddle. And uh, we thank you. Thank you, third quarter. Uh, Pike Road Dentistry and Pediatric Family Orthodontics. Here we go, 40-yard line. I can be kicking. Man, what a Over the squid that time. Love Very it. nice kill. Yeah, that was a pretty play. Huh? Oh, ball. Ball on the ground. That gummit, they got it. Woo. Yeah, that was very nice. I mean, that was a that was a great throw, Beautiful. great route by Jordan. Beautiful. Like dropping it in the back of the end zone like that. That was pretty sweet. This is a weird story, Myers. But last week I told you about eating the details, and I met that waiter, Bo Ward. Remember? And he was kind of crying about his dog. Get ready. Bo's all right though. So I gave him my number. He's so, like, you know, call me sometime, whatever. The guy texted me this week, Bo Ward in Columbus, Georgia. And he goes, hey, Mr. Richard, I got a new dog. Are you ready for this? He named it Richard. Yes, he should. Yeah, very weird, though. <laughs> I hope he's not a serial killer. Bo Ward, I know you're listening. You said you are going to listen. You're off tonight waiting tables at Ezel. We love you, son. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. First congratulations time. on the puppy. Yeah, congratulations, I guess. Woo! Oh, mama, get some. Get you some uh, of six that. 6A football right there, Man, Myers. Braylon Outlaw. 6A right there. Outlaw hit you. I've been watching him. I'll tell you what, we, we talked about, talk about being young early in the season. When you got sophomores like that, that ain't really young. No, no. You're right. That's, that's, I mean, that was. That was tackling Will, form tackling to the finest, yeah. put his shoulder right in his stomach, lifted him up, yeah. put him on his back, ran yeah. his legs through it. I mean, it was beautiful. He's in trouble. He's Boy, in trouble. That's tough Chris. right there. Oh, and a flat. That's might might have a hold in there, too. That was a bunch of them, Myers. That was Akeem and Malik back there again. They've been making a living back there. Big third down and long. Probably decline that, maybe. Okay, maybe Gavin Rogers got back there, too. Oh, that was, that was holding against Gavin. He, he put a move on him, ripped through, and the guy just was holding on and spun him all the way around. Like, I mean... Yeah. Oh, I mean, wow. Look like wow. you look like you dancing up here. Yeah, it did look like me dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Our feet were kind of similar, you know, like gliding on the field and on the cement <laughs> rooftop that we're on. There you go, third and long. Oh, ball on the third ground. Oh, yeah, he's down. Stay up, stay up. There you go. Big stop there, folks. Two minutes left. This quarterback, I think, took off running before he had the ball, and, and uh, he's playing hard, I promise you. By the way, congratulations, Chris, to the city and the, and uh, of getting the new uh, land over there at the end of uh, uh, Wachahatchee, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Wallahatchee. Also known as Wallahatchee. Near Wallahatchee and Pike. Yeah, uh, so congratulations for y'all for getting that going. The school got to yep. do that. Well, actually, congratulations to the – Residents of the town have voted that they wanted yep. to, you know, get a new high school yep. and were willing to pay for yep. education around here. I saw that uh, March 24, they're going to be doing ooh, good, good uh, ooh, we'll take that bounce. bounce for us. So, yeah, congratulations to uh, the folks that voted that in. I, I understand some of y'all don't, but I, I hope 
I hope you see it one day and uh, maybe change your mind. If not, I understand that too. Yep. Uh, yeah, but uh, for the students, and, and I think it's a great thing, and uh, they're going to be starting it on March 24th. I bring that up really to let the architects know if they're listening. Hey, meet with Chris and I and Brian and everybody kind of how where we want our our part of the stadium so let's just maybe get a meeting together i see where you're sure, going with that you know we get like we like it yeah. maybe carpet instead of cement <laughs> it's anyway it's a lot easier on the back <laughs> just give us a call architects all right we got myers maybe at in the back Chris. Yep, that's at back there first and 10 to the 40 ready to take one to the house uh -oh. Told you. you caught it. He's down there. Oh, it's a foot race. Oh, no, sir. No, sir. You ain't catching him. He's it's like a push, baby, on the auto. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Touchdown. Pike Road gets some. Woo. How about that, Byron? <laughs> I love it. Break that down for the people. With a 38-yard touchdown. 38 yard. Again, kind of that split zone. You had Macy come, Mason Hussey coming to kick out. He went right underneath that. And he was off to the races, um, and he was going. Did a great job using the field, too, because the guy had an angle over there trying to get to him, and he used the entire field to keep running over there, get to the corner, yeah, and then tuck it in shot. there. <laughs> that was great. That was awesome. AT rolling out. That's a D.R. Horton touchdown and a first down uh, off the one actually in the riddle. Good gravy. Speaking of Talladega, like Chase Elliott on the back stretch, burning it. And count it, baby. Hey, Myers, you got some of those stats for the first half? Yeah. The, yeah uh, tell the people. Hey, give a shout out. I was going to say, say, I don't, but Turner definitely does. He's Single he's best stat man ever. Needs some insurance. See him at Alpha over there by Publix. Go ahead, Myers. So he had uh, Mike Jones, 16 carries for 116 yards and three tutties once again. Cody Markham had five tackles with the, uh, also a, a block punt. Uh, Malik had, we said this right before halftime, but I think Malik had two extra tackles. So he, I think six tackles with either three or four sacks that first half. And Drew Britton caught that 25-yard touchdown in the first half. And I'm sure Turner will get us some before the game's over also. But, yeah, it's kind of what we talked about, too. You know, we need to be finishing the game. Make sure we finish the game, yeah. the rest of the third, finish the fourth, yep. because more than likely we're going to be in a dog fight in a full game against Carver yeah. next week, um, and we got to be ready for that. Not trying to run it, run it up because it's 45 seconds. No, 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 you're right. Well, they're not quitting. Nope. Who's that, Ooh. Myers? Uh, I believe that was Cody Markham yeah, again. Yeah, that was shocking. <laughs> gas motors, the gas motors, sick. Just can't. But that's a 40-yard game there. Yes. We got to, we got to. Yeah, that's talking about when you start coming into the playoffs, coming into the area championship yeah. games. Like those are the little things that we've been doing week in and week out that we got to kind of see go away. Like you don't, you want to keep doing the same thing, giving up big plays like that. But, and again, not being negative, it's just, it's the reality. No, you're right. Against better teams or as good teams, it, it can it can bite you. Yeah, absolutely. Because in close games, plays like that starts flipping the field. Yeah. You know, you, you're getting backed up against them, having to go a lot farther than they do. It's just it's a big deal. See that quarterback was sitting there going, "Why is somebody not hitting yeah. me yet?" He's like, Wait a second. <laughs> What are y'all doing? <laughs> I know somebody's coming. Yeah. Second down and 10. Don't blame them. They've been all over him all night. Yeah. I mean, it's good for him staying in there and hanging in there because no, they really have been. They've been all over him. Millbrook, Millbrook folks are tough folks, man. Oh, yeah. 14 showed an example. The whole team showed an example of that. 30 seconds left here in third quarter. Oh, we believe. Oh, no. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, Myers. That brings up a big third down. 
Yeah. I think a five-year-old could break this down. He just got by there and hammered the guy. Yeah, he met him behind the line of scrimmage and then finished it right up. Oh, Boom. That's a great looking play. Yeah. Man, that was a great play. Son. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give yourself a big round of applause at home. But give yourself, give the Pike Road Patriots a bigger round of applause. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. 45-7, one more quarter. Where else would you rather be? Huh? Where else would you rather be? Where else would you rather be watching? That's the question. Don't tell me about no Golden Bachelor or Bachelor in Europe or the Kardashians. Hey, Bradshaw, give a little bit of this and I'll shut up. It is awesome. Hey, that's all the coach shook and his staff too, man. 0-2, yeah. the first two games, and uh, kept coaching hard, kept playing hard, kept working hard, and uh, here we are, six, seven, eight games later, on a five-game winning streak. And uh, hats off to him and staff for getting these kids motivated, staying motivated. Um, you know, I think the future is bright with him and his staff here. Yes. Third down and 12. Oh, take a shot deep. out there. Ooh. Good coverage there, Chris. It yeah, looks like Juju over there on the coverage. Good job. Trying to get Bowler. one out quick on him. Balls incomplete. Fourth down here. Fourth down and 12. Yeah, and uh, as long as nothing, nothing crazy happens, it's 33-14 Carver right now in the uh, eight minutes left in the fourth. 45-7 here in the fourth. Looks like well, we're destined to meet to see who's going to be the area that champion. It looks like next Friday night. It's going to be awesome. I'm telling Love you, it. folks. Love it. There's a reason they call it a home field advantage. Usually, it is. I don't know the stats of that, but come on, man. Next Friday night, it is a massive, massive game. Fourth down and long. They bring in the house, Chris. Brought, brought, brought pressure that threw it up. Catch it, Myers. Yeah, he did. Wow. Good catch by that kid. He just threw it up for grabs and uh, 28, maybe. Brian Smith. Wow. To number 20, Zach Holcomb is complete and good enough for a Mustang first down. San Jose Belmore football versus 10. Man, that was a heck of a catch. 20. I mean, he laid out yeah, horizontal right to the ground and caught that. First and 10 for the Mustangs, 20 yard line. All right, let's bow up right here. Come on, let's go, baby. Let's get us a pick. We haven't had one of those tonight. Been close. Yeah, how about Braylon grab one real quick? Yeah, exactly right. He's about to get drilled. Yeah. Well, nice play. Good play. Brian pass complete to number 18, Gary and Slope. Jordan Holmes with the tackle after the four-yard game. Second and six for Shannon. Oh yeah, don't forget uh, next week with the um, with Carver coming into town, which isn't very far a drive. We got a we had a pink out tonight. And next week we got the blackout. Oh man! So let's black it out uh, next week. Man, I like it. Oh yeah, stick him, stick him, stick him. There, that's where it finished, Sid. Got him, baby. There you go. Gonna bring up third down in about seven. So I hope y'all heard Myers there. Next Friday is a blackout. All right, I want head to toe black. I want. I just want y'all getting fired up and getting ready and go crazy next Friday night. All right, unless you're under the weather. All right, I need you up here, man. I know y'all love us. Listen to us. Obviously, looking at me and Chris. Listen to our awesome golden voices. But so we don't care. It ain't about us. It's about y'all. So next Friday night, I want y'all up here, stadium full, because Carver, I promise you, is going to bring it. Get him, get him. Oh. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh did he get in bounds?
got his foot down. Very nice. Interception, baby. That's a turnover right there. Bradley Bank turnover. First one of the night. Hey, oh, Shockey. <laughs> Guess who that was? Yeah, Shockey. Cody Markham. Great game tonight. Yeah, I'll tell you that one. Yeah, what a great catch. That wasn't Michael Bradshaw. That was number eight again. Man, what a great catch there. Great catch and getting your foot down. I love I mean, it. That was a heck of a play. Turnover, Bradley Bank, man. It's the first time I've called y'all. My bad. But they've been slacking. They ain't getting no turnovers till now. Bradley man. Bank, public parking lot. Y'all go see them. Y'all go borrow some money. He's opening a check account, savings account. Buy a house in the air. Horton or Louder. Come on. We appreciate you, Bradley Bank. We love you. What a great play, Myers. Oh, man, I think it's it's – if you don't understand, he, he had great concentration to watch yeah. that into his hands, but also once he knew he had it, to get his feet down in right right in bounds over there, that was a heck of a play. Great hand-eye coordination. Might be why he's playing baseball at the next level. Uh -oh. There just ain't nothing there. Oh, good job, Myers. What a gun. He came up and caught that. Oh, nice wow. Catch, Drew. You ain't going to brag on your son. I will. Let me tell you, that was an individual effort by 15. And a great job coming back to the ball. Was that Hussey or Britton? That was Britton, it looked like. Great job, great man, job. coming back. Like great he was job. scooping up a, uh, a ground at a short stop. That's a cannon. Very nice. Go, go. I mean, he came back, man. Yeah, he did a phenomenal job coming back to that ball. He took a shot when he got rid of it again, too. Man, number 15, Ron chunking it. Good job. Here we go. He took a shot. Oh, yeah, big hole, Chris. Nice cut. First down, make the change. Ball thrown out to Riddle. Yep. That was one of the better throws I've seen uh, number 15 make Chris all season, actually. Yeah, that was tough. Running he was on, on the run, on the right. running, running backwards, Beautiful. getting it out. And he, he, got, touchdown. he oh, got strokes. He's got him. Too. Got him. Drop oh, 20, 20, 10, 5. No, sir. You ain't Touchdown. catching him. Oh, 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 oh. Touchdown. Touchdown. Mike Brooke. Woo, get some. <laughs> son. Oh, very nice. I got cannonball shot out of the cannon, son. They went, with the old, they went with the old sluggo. Yeah, we yeah. throw that slant, throw on the slant, throw on the slant. See ya. Fake the slant, gave him a little pump fake, and then he took off north and went on the go, and then he dropped yeah. it in there. Very Great nice. pump fake by 15. Yes. That was, just, that was a very nice throw also. Yeah, good, good job by him running that slant, being patient Dang. enough to really know, sell it and then take, take off. Board. That was a good job by both of them. It's a DR Horton touchdown right there. Also, Addison Richard. Riddle and Hawthorne first down. Ladies and gentlemen, 51 7. Hey, fourth quarter. I'm a little slack about it. Uh, that's my law firm, Vickers and White. We're glad to be part of the uh, Pike Road Live on YouTube. Uh, Vickers and White, hope you don't need us because we do criminal defense, force work, personal injury. Uh, but you find yourself in that situation. Most of y'all don't look like murderers. But Ted Money didn't either. So. <laughs> Uh, if you need us, call us. But now also, I got to do a disclaimer uh, for me and uh, Hawthorne, Addison, Riddle. Again, man, they're awesome lawyers. Personal injury up there. But, uh, none of us are any better than any other lawyers. Uh, disclaimer we got to do. And so uh, I'm just saying that we are no better than any other lawyers out there. That's for you, the people, to decide. The Biggers and White, we're glad to be part of the fourth quarter sponsorship of Pike Road Live. Hey, Myers, man, what a beautiful play. What a beautiful night. What a beautiful crowd. What a beautiful game, man, we're playing tonight. Oh, man, it's awesome. Like we talked about, finishing the game, scoring in the second half. We had a few games there in a row where it, it just looked like it kind of yeah. sputtered and shut down. And I'm this glad is what to you want to see. This is what you want to see. What the people pay their money for? Absolutely. The Ackerman kickoff travels into the end zone for a touchdown. It'll be San Jose football first and ten from their team. Hey, again, we got two more home games coming up. We got the big one with Carver Friday night blackout. Hey, I'm serious, man. Please come up here. Please come up here. I want to see. Only people I want to see watching this are folks that don't live in this uh, state, actually. If you don't live in the state, <laughs> yeah. then Pike Road Live's for you. Or if you're under the weather, not the sniffles, not the sniffles, all right? 
If you're not that category, let's go. All right, get up here, black out, and let Carver know we mean business in the area regional championship, baby. All right, San Jose, they ain't quitting. They still playing. Good tackle there. God bless you. Bless you. What's that, Corey? Ball carrier for San Jose. Run up the middle, it yep, my neighbor, McCoy, right there, Hudson McCoy, he'll hit you in the next week with a big tackle there. Coming back up from his safety slash linebacker position. The second down and about seven, I mean three, sorry. Got Alex McLeod in the corner, and he'll do the same thing. He's already shown that in yeah. special teams. Boom. Is that Trey getting in there on the tackle? Oh, they're going to take a shot, too. Man, he is up there. Oh, wow, he's up there, Chris. Corey ain't catching him. Nope, he was out of there. Good job there by number 12. Looks like there was some confusion before the snap. They were trying to line up and see where they were supposed to be. And they, they snapped it, and he got it out of there really quick. Team 52 to 13. Yeah, there was confusion, Chris. Yeah, I, I think they just didn't know. It was kind of busted. Coverage back there, trying to figure it out. Hey, hey, hey. Oh man, kid, somebody's car is about to get jacked. And the yes. point after a two, two of the kickers good. coming off. Just glad he didn't get tackled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I gotta get this up quick. <laughs> He kicked it and ran off. <laughs> hey, man, please don't hit me. <laughs> God, not supposed to tackle me. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Hey, that's part of it. A little busted cover is. He got, got a, a great call and a great throw, getting it out, dropping it in there. 52-14, we can live with it. 52-14, folks. Yeah, we got some people rocking it down here. Yeah! Give a shout out to my friend, Miss Ware. Saw her earlier. Get down there getting here early, getting here, getting her a good seat. Hey man, All right, two, and two, and two next week, again, can't say it enough. We need to absolutely pack this thing pack out. It. Student section needs to be full. This section needs to be pack full. It. I promise you, Carver's going to bring a crowd, and they're going to want to come and win a championship on our turf, and that's what we can. We need to get back to winning the Marriott championships again. i tell you what we're going to do. Nice. Good job. I'm calling, I'm calling Miss Manis. I'm calling the superintendent. I'm calling Mr. Trailer. Shout out, by the way, to the counselors, my wife, Tina White, Holly Leverage, Valerie Atkins, her husband down there coaching. Shout out the best counseling group in America. Love y'all. But I tell you what we're going to do next Friday. We're going to have a pep rally. Pike Road Live is going to have a pep rally. Brian Harris is going to lead it. We're going to get these students fired up, and we're going to pack the house. So, Miss Manis and all the staff, if y'all listening, Chris and them will be there at 3.30 on Friday to do that pep rally. And we're going to get the kids to go crazy. Crazy. <laughs> We got a pep rally going? I just hit the high soprano. I, yeah, I, like I just it. called it. I like 3.30. It. I love Pike it. Pike Road Live, we're doing a pep rally. I tell you, I don't know what happened. We used to have pep rallies like I every know that. Friday. Thank you. I mean, what? Like, Thank you. It was awesome. When did that stop? When did that stop? Well, we bringing it. We bringing it. If y'all want us, we coming. Brian Harris, Michael Bradshaw. I don't, I, I don't know. I'll probably, I'll decide. There is a flag on the plane. Mathis will be there. Myers will be there. Hey, we might just have a pep rally ourselves. Hey, I'll tell you what, we might have a pep rally up here on the cement deck if it ain't raining. Hey, I'd like to thank the boys in the blue and the ladies in the blue. They got the lights on out there. The finest law enforcement agency in the world. I deal with a lot of law enforcement agencies in my line of work. Hats off to the Montgomery County Sheriff. 
and the paramedics that are here tonight. Thank y'all for keeping our community safe. All right, let's go, boys. Second down and 12. About seven minutes left. Ooh. There you go. I'll tell you what, Mike, Mike ran through a couple of uh, tackles early with their middle linebacker, but that cap, usually when he's hitting you, he's hitting you. Yeah. Yeah, you got to take an ice bath next day when that man hits you. Young man. There you go. Nice catch, Elias, right in the hands. Pick up the first down, keep the chains moving. Elias, another freshman, Kaysen and Elias, been yeah. playing. they've been playing together literally since they were seven. Hey, they're not bad on that basketball court either. No, it, both, it, it's fun, to, it's been fun to watch them. Both of them are really, like really good kids. Yeah, they are. Really easy going, yeah. like just really good young men. I agree. And, and they both have very similar motors. Like yeah. both of them, once they're going, they're going. And they're the going to give field. you everything they got. It's 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 been fun to watch those two grow up. They're part of that youth football program, Chris, that y'all started a while back. The Whiteheads keep going. And yep. um, I'll tell White, you, Whiteheads, a lot of these kids Angela, out here playing. Angela them. Brooks on the board yep. since it pretty much started. Sparkles handling the cheer. You know, Tori's on there. Um, <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. Look at that. Look, Look at, at that. that. We got that rugby scrum, baby. <laughs> it's awesome. Carter, Woo! His run is good enough for another. Like last year when they frosties these are half off, baby. Just running up there. But, you know, as you mentioned, the youth league, hats off again to the volunteer coaches. Because oh, that's man. what makes it go. Oh, man. Come that's, on. That's the experience for the kids. Cheerleading and football. Yeah, cheerleader, football. You're right. Man, that's, that's what makes it go. It's the experience the kids have. It's not by the board, although, you know, some of the board, a lot of us have coached as we've kind of come through the system. But it's the coaches that are impacting those kids, yeah. which is really cool. And they're doing it for free. Oh, good job. Yeah. Yeah, hats off. I, I call those games on Saturday. And uh, I usually try to give them props because they're out there after their work, especially in the summer out in Alabama when it's hot, not getting paid. Um, you know, and I always say it, hopefully making them good players on the field, but hopefully great future men. Um, and uh, if y'all haven't seen it, if you got a kid that's young or a girl that wants to cheerlead, y'all come out tomorrow. They're playing tomorrow and uh, see what it's about. And uh, if you have any questions, ask Coach Whitehead or Miss Sparkle Watson, and they'd love to talk to you. Go get outside. Come to me, a low throw, uh, Myers, as far as receiving and throwing, is similar to a high snap. Am I wrong about getting your timing off? Yeah, it gets, yeah absolutely. It gets okay. the timing off because yeah. you got to get down. That was actually a really nice scoop right there to yeah, get his yeah. hands underneath the ball because it came out low. Um, but, yeah, you, you're not catching it in rhythm yeah, and rolling. getting out of there. Because that's timing. That's a timing play. Yes. And those cornerbacks get a little momentum. Might be a second or two, but get up on you. Yes. And those fast screens like that, you want to flip your hips, get it out there. I mean, from the snap to the catch, you want it to be under two seconds. Ooh, that ain't going nowhere, my friend. No. Fourth and long there. 52 to 14 here. It's about three that's minutes far, left. We're going to bring the punt team out. Well, Chris, we've had some action tonight. Started out a little slow, but, you know, started rolling maybe beginning of the second quarter. And uh, Pike Road's offense and their defense um, has played, I mean, really, really well in my opinion. Really well, so, yeah. In fact, some penalties early in the game, but it just seems like this game to me, I know we're home, we haven't been home in a while, and the atmosphere might be helping them, but I feel like we've really been clicking tonight for the most part. Yeah, the first – First half was a little weird, like we talked about, because some penalties are really on both sides. Um, and they, nobody was really kind of flowing, but I, I feel like we have just started clicking. And again, the biggest thing to me is, you know, winning the second half, because we didn't win the second half for a few games, and now we're, we're winning the second half, finishing games, which is what you got to be able to do, especially, like I said, coming into these last couple weeks, playing Carver next week, BTW the week after that, and then we're in the playoffs. Uh, and next week's huge. Come out, come out, come out, because like you said earlier, whoever wins the number one seed gets a better seat in the playoffs. That, that, that first round. That first round is, is critical. I'll tell you, folks, we've enjoyed having y'all. Obviously, we blessed first and foremost to have y'all again. and been able to do this for two years. 
Back Row Live, just not for football. Uh, the Patriot Fund bought this equipment. It's for all arts and athletics. Please reach out to me if you'd like to have your sport or art program time out on the field. Uh, being serious, let us know, man, this equipment. I know baseball uses it in the spring. And uh, if you got an event coming up, just give us a heads up. And uh, we'll come set it up. Um, I don't care if it's a robotics or a cross-country meet. It don't matter. Uh, it's for everybody to use, just not football. And you might get your own announcer. Which I know I'm quit crying about that. But it's not pretty expensive. So if we're not able to do it, uh, and to be honest, I don't know much about cross country. So, and then again, I don't know much about football either. So there you go. But Tell if y'all like for us to use it, or you like y'all to use it. All of Mobile just stood up and yelled. Let me tell you about, let me tell you about UMS Rock. Single greatest school there is out there. Number 14 on the field, number one in your hearts. My last uh, season had an interception against. Okay. I didn't know I was going to do this. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the, the final score for the Carver-Lanier game, 39-21 to 21 Carver. So Carver's undefeated we in go. the region. We got Carver coming. We're going to be undefeated Carver in the coming. region. Carver coming. They're coming for Should us. Awesome. We coming for them, baby. Whoa. Oh, we barely got out of there. Good for job that by that kid. Alex McLeod. I'm shocking. Jackson, the ball carrier. The two-yard ball. my son, Walker White. Hey, buddy. Love you. Second and 12 from the two. Mark, are you going to play football next year? No. Okay. You want to think about it? Mr. Michael's okay. starting to flag football league. Mr. Michael. Mr. Michael's going to be all time QB. He's all time QB. I touch, love it, man. Touch I love to tell you something. That's Stan Hope. He kept, he's, he, the game's over, Myers. Okay, I'm going to call it. He kept turning those legs and trying to get, I love it, man. Yeah. You know, these guys, athletes like this, they got that, some of them just have that inner, hey, I don't care what the score is. I'm, I've been practicing. I'm going to play till the end. Absolutely. And hats off to them. Uh, but again, yeah, Millbrook folks, tough folks. Football team's tough. We got about a minute left here, folks. Hey, I'm gonna say it again, Friday night, baby. Myers is spot on. It is massive that we have home field advantage. Massive. I don't hear no excuses. All right. Gosh. Hey, real quick, it's my third time to say it. But I'm going to say it, American Cancer Society, go there tonight. I'm going to do it when I get home. Minimum of $10. Let's do it. Let's do our part to try to kick that sinful disease butt out the dope. And so uh, peek out tonight. Get on your phone. And let's do a $10 minimum pledge to try to wipe out breast cancer. All right? I need it from y'all. When I get home, I'm going to do it after I eat Waffle House. Back in the pad. Oh, let's get a little blow. Good catch. Ooh, dang, Myers. Hey, hey, that's not a shocker. That's what that young man does, Alex McLeod. Started the game blowing somebody up on kickoff yeah, and ended the game blowing somebody up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the good guys, 52 to 14, six game winning streak. Undefeated in the area. But hey, I think Coach Shook would agree. That don't mean much. You can't get past Carver next Friday night. It's the, it's the age old uh, coaching sling. Enjoy it tonight. Enjoy it tonight. Get ready, starting tomorrow. Get ready. All right, folks, we have enjoyed peak out tonight here at home. Big win for us. I'd like to thank Mr. Mathis, Mr. Bradshaw. Mr. Harris, the heartbeat of this operation. If you see them, buy them a burger or something, thank them, because I promise you they put in a lot of hard, hard work. And Myers, any parting words you'd like to say to the people? Hey, thanks for tuning in. Go say it again. Come out and support these young men next week. 
They're going to need the home field advantage. That's going to, Carver has a ton of talent. They're not undefeated for no reason in, their, in the area. They've got a lot of kids that are going to be playing the next level. Um, so they're, we're going to, the kids out here from Pike Road, they're going to need your support out here because it's going to be really should be a great game. That's right. Hey, hats off to y'all. Stanhope Elmore didn't turn out the way you did. Y'all got us last year. We got y'all this year. But y'all's team fought hard, and I hope y'all uh, fans obviously have a safe trip home and a great weekend. Yep. And on behalf of Chris Myers, the face of the operation, I'm Richard White, the voice of the operation. We love y'all. I hope you have a great weekend. Adios, and God bless.